Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Otter Point Streaming here at Hollenbeck's Q Club in Sussex Boland, Sussex, Wisconsin. I am Brian Hallelujah Hollenbeck, and in the booth with me tonight is my good friend, Mr. Scott, or actually Mrs. Scott Jack Wagner. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. You know, is what the hell is Scott Henry? Scott Henry already put a post on it. What the hell are you doing? You're on a cruise right now, aren't you? Oh, I wonder. Yeah, he says, "Good evening, gentlemen. I can, I can watch the grudge match on the ship." He says, yes, I, I, "There we go." I saw a couple of his uh, his posts of it, him and his wife. They finally got out of port, and uh, he showed a couple of pictures and videos of him and his cruise. And Scott, I just want to, you know. I got this <laughs> oh, I don't know if you're watching, Brian, but itch go ahead. on my eye, you know that. Uh, yeah, whatever in your cruise. Oh, we feel sorry for you, yeah, Scott. Yeah, so sorry. <clears throat> But uh, no, hey, good for you. I'm glad uh, glad you and your wife were able to get out there and do that cruise. That's awesome. Uh, where are you? Where is the cruise going to? I think you're in the Bahamas, right? But uh, anyway, well, we are here for a. Uh, thank God I'm here because actually this morning I wasn't feeling very good. But we're here today. Oh, now you tell me. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, I think it was something I ate last night because this morning I was just like literally like ugh, bad. And then by this afternoon it got better. Not like tonight. It's, I was able to eat tonight. I didn't eat all day. But <clears throat> um, this match was originally supposed to be Brian Otto and Vano Al Muhammad. But Vano sent me a message last night and also sent Brian a message saying he had to deploy tomorrow morning. So um, he's actually an interpreter for. Uh, the military contracts with the military and his gotcha. interpreter. So yep. I asked him where he was going, and I th- think he says he end up in Kuwait possibly, but he's not quite sure yet. So anyway, so the the match was kind of guess postponed, and I put a postponement out there on the on the flyer. But then Brian sent me a message this afternoon saying, "God, I've been really trying to get on this stream, and uh, I've got an alternate." And I said, "Okay, well, who is it?" And he said. Mike Sabota. So Mike Sabota stepped up. He stepped up, and he they increased the dollar amount to seven hundred and fifty dollars. Monopoly dollars in the middle, but a race to nine. So, um, I said, "Yeah, what the hell?" So actually, I called Scott this morning and said, "Yeah, well, don't bother." And then I called him again and said, "Well, are you still available?" So, <clears throat> so that marinated ve- venison that I got in the freezer or the refrigerator <laughs> is going to have to be waiting till tomorrow. Yeah, it's going to have to wait till tomorrow. So, I barb made his night. Appreciate you s- stepping in last minute again, and uh, it's all good. Should we uh, get them going here? Yeah, why not? Let's give them a thumbs up to start the lag. All right, get them going. All right. So again, we got Scott Henry. He's actually from the in the Bahamas. Ah. Uh, tomorrow uh, morning we dock. Sweet. Nice. I bet you the water is not frozen like here. Right? <laughs> yeah. I bet it's not. Oh, and then uh, looks like mm. oh, it's gonna be no, no. Brian has the leg. Brian has the honors. Well, thanks, so, Jr. Jr. said uh, congratulations for winning the Mad Apple. Just have him bring the. Oh, the other one. I'll grab the other ball. Oh, oh that's right. They're sitting right there. Michelle, yeah, Michelle, will grab it. Perfect. Uh, no, cue ball does not go in the rack there, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Again, yeah, but yeah, thanks, thanks, Jared. That was uh, appreciated. It. Um, Avenue Auto. Who is Avenue Avenue Auto? I'll take the winner. He says. Avenue Auto. Yeah, Avenue Auto. All right, who is who is Avenue Auto? <clears throat> uh, Speak your name. <laughs> Speak it's your name. All right, or stay uh, silent. Race to nine. Brian starting a rack out here. And they are doing, oh, you know, I don't know. I know it was alternate break for Vano and him, but I don't know if they decided to keep that format. So I guess we will find out. Well, yeah, we'll if there. Brian wins this game, we'll know. But if Mike, we won't know because Mike's going to break yeah, regardless. Might, might have to wait a couple games. Yeah. So, again, thank you all for tuning in here tonight. Appreciate uh, tuning in, and uh, hopefully we'll see some good pool here. I know we'll see some quick pool. we got a supporter of Mike uh, in the house, uh, Trevor K. Hartner. Remember, you Archie? can send I'm some sorry. of those comments over, too, oh, if yeah, you want. Right, right click on them. No, nah, left click. Left click and then hit send. send. Okay. Yeah. Derek Justin is the Auto Avenue or Avenue Auto. Oh, what's up, Derek? All 
Um, Mike said he just had a set uh, up at uh, Charlie's over the weekend that he had a little challenge match. That he, oh, did he? he? Said he played pretty good, so maybe he makes a little bit of a stroke here. Does he take this? Who did he challenge? He's taking it now. Yeah. Who did he challenge? You know? I don't know. He didn't let me know. I tell you, if he makes this, it's actually natural shape to get on the ten, and he could be out from here. Yep. And there, oh, he just hit a little, little too light. That was natural shape to come around for. He just needed to hit yep. a little harder than that. Still does have the 12 ball, which is perfectly fine. I see. I uh, oh, I know he was looking at that 13 ball. I'm like, yeah, no, don't do that because then you're going to hit the 9. You're at, you're at perfect angle at the 12 ball. Just roll the 12 ball in. If you roll too far, you got the 9. If you don't roll far enough, you got the 13. So yeah, Hopefully you don't get the right in the middle. Or you scratch. Or the scratch, yeah. Yeah. Well, Sean, Sean Wilk says, go, Mike. Uh, I like his game, and it's always improving. What's up, Sean? So, you know, that, that one he hit just too hard. He didn't need to hit it that hard. You know what I mean? Just smooth it to the hole. Just smooth it to the hole. And if you come up a little short, you got the 13. Obviously, a two ball is large. You know, you could get dead center, but that's uh, your percentages of getting behind the two ball are less than... You know, get in shape on either the 9 or the 13, so. Uh, your percentage go down if you miss the ball, right? <laughs> yes, they do. Yeah. So Brian's going to roll forward and knock the 5 out. Well, he ran in the 5, but he didn't want to roll it that far. Yeah. The only good part about that is he's blocked that pocket, but Mike does have a couple balls down there to break that up if need be. Oh, almost drilled it. Oh, speaking of, I gotta get our. Uh, I gotta start recording for the. Uh, oh, for replays. replays oh, here. sure. Okay. <clears throat> well, I think Brian's got the upper hand in this record, especially because they have five ball. But <coughs> well, the thing about Mike comes around good here. Well, he could break it out here. No, look at that. Which but. he did. That, that perfect angle to get on it, but he just unfortunately did not end up in a good spot here. Yeah. I personally would have liked to try to get down to this side of the table here and maybe use the nine to break that out because he's still have a couple yeah. balls. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Because now he's going to run into the five. He's going to hit the five after the 12, and yeah, he's got to hope that he doesn't go too tie far. Tie something up yeah. or get too far, you yeah. know. Just like uh, that, did it, did it unfortunately. Thin. Yep. Oh, well, this Brian is going to open said, up for Brian. And just a trouble seven ball down there. I don't think, do you think it goes past the eight there? No. No, because <coughs> here it's... Uh, oh, just looking at the table physically, it's... You know, you yeah. look at this view here, it definitely oh, does yeah, not go yeah, past. No. And he he tried tried to run, to. I tell you what, he got perfect position. I take you that take seven it right, right now. now. Take it. You got perfect position on that seven. You're close to it. You can see the edge good. Yes. You, you shoot it. You yeah. shoot that right now. Yeah, there's He's looking at still trying to break it out, but you didn't need to break it out at that point. Yeah. <clears throat> boy, oh boy. Let's see what he tries to develop here. Does he take it now? Here, he's, he's another two and a half feet away from it. Mm, Same yeah, angle. That's <laughs> close, though. <clears throat> <clears throat> or roll up and play the bank shot. Yeah, the problem with playing the bank shot, though, you have to get such perfect because you don't want yeah. to yeah. wanna, to get... You it, almost want to get straight in on it so you can stop the cue ball right there. Yeah, because if you play a fade bank, you're going it's away and going into your stripes. Careful. And I'm, I'm, I'm lost as to what he's thinking about with that seven ball. He's going to play the bank. Hopefully he comes out. Oh, he's, he's going to play a safe Two stripes. Right. Oh. Yeah, I don't yeah. mind that. Yeah. The only bad part about it, it doesn't really... Mike should be able to get a pretty easy hit on... Either of these balls with a one rail kick, yeah. Um, but it didn't really do him much because now if Mike gets a hit on either one of these balls, that ball's still in trouble. Still stuck. In. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Mike, I think that's going to be a little too long. Yeah, he's going to be hitting the middle of the diamond almost. Yeah, <laughs> on the short rail. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was a little bit too long. Yeah. <coughs> Well, Brian looks like a genius now, doesn't he? 
<laughs> there you go. Uh, don't go that way, Brian. No. But well, yeah, whatever's comfortable for him. Well, yeah, he actually got pretty good angle on that, yeah. so worked out good. Just come back over to the other long rail, come two rails, get over the long rail, or just come straight back across. I like two rails because you can control a little bit better. Yeah, 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 he's just fine. I would have preferred uh, play shape on the one to get underneath the eight to the side rather than. But well, either that or get pretty. Yeah, get there. straight on the get on the rail and make sure it's pretty easy to. Yeah, he Float drilled it. it. <clears throat> one zero. All right, so Brian, oh, I better get back to my comments. Oh, two, I missed two. Uh oh. All right, so they are doing alternate break because Brian broke the first one and he won that one, so they are doing alternate break. So. Race to nine, one to zero. Brian Otto over Mike Sabota. Sabota. <coughs> so Eric Sweeney saying good evening, fellas. What's up, Eric? Yeah. Saw you just posted your uh, birthday party uh, partners event. Yeah, and I feel kind of vibes. privileged. He actually asked me this morning to play, and unfortunately, I'm tied up that weekend. So we're playing the Knuckleheads tournament. You're playing the Knuckleheads tournament, right? No, I no. No. Nobody likes you. I don't blame them. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> yeah. Right, here we go. We're going to mute Scott, and he's done for the night. Oh, ouch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm the nicest guy in the booth, for gosh sakes. And <laughs> oh, boy. Here we go. It's getting deep in here, folks. I know. <laughs> <clears throat> getting real deep. <clears throat> and JR says, uh, yeah, that's the difference between you guys and a 519. Yeah, yeah, certainly. The nice part about it, though, that's why we kind of point that stuff out is I've had so many people, you know, that are lower rated that have gone back and said they watch the stream and they love hearing that uh, about what someone else would do. Correct. Yeah. I like that shot by Mike. Now, if he can get good position on this 12 ball to run into the 8 to kick the 8 out of there, he'll be in great shape. <clears throat> The 80 might even clear the two going to the corner pocket there. Eh? I don't know about that one. He moved that ball. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I can't really tell if that two goes past there. The two or the eight? <laughs> <clears throat> I'm sorry, the two. The eight passed yeah. the two. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, so he's got to get shape on the 10 here. Let's see where he plays to. Looks like he's loading up and going... Don't he is really loading up. And, wow, look at that breakout. Wow. I did, uh, How do you like that? That was a, that was a good shot. Yeah, he got there, absolutely. All right, now he needs just another one. Mad Matt. Good evening, gentlemen. Who's Mad Matt? Yeah, who's Mad Matt? Obviously, it's Matt, but Matt who? <coughs> Any update on, it, on grudge matches, Brian? <laughs> yes, I actually just got... Um, all the, um, I don't know what you want to call them, uh, avatars. That's what Dale was sending me before. Oh, okay. In fact, I'll, uh, I'll show Dale, I'm going to tell you a couple things about Brian. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so those are, the, if you look there, those are the avatars that uh, Dale created for the different divisions. So what we are going to do is he has been in contact with Vince Schrader. Who is, Sweet. <laughs> who has been absolutely wonderful. Um, and helping out with the uh, the form and, and kind of keeping. So what here here's what we're going to do. <clears throat> we're going to have six divisions. <clears throat> okay, we're going to have six divisions. We're going to actually have a, a juniors division. So which which will they'll be called as you can see on there. The I want to be uh, part of the division number one. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. So we got, we kind of revamped everything because. W I don't know, we just, we, we got a different perspective. Oh, Matt Jorgensen. Um, we want to take a different approach to to this whole thing. Um, <clears throat> Future of the Felt will be our junior division. Oh, that's a great name. Yeah. yeah. Commanders of the Cue Ball, Centurions of the Slate, Gladiators of the Game, Titans of the Table, and the Duchess of of the diamonds it will be the women's event or the women's uh, division. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a 
Ooh. Well, he ended up okay on it. A juniors division. Then we're going to have a 499 and below division. Then a 599 and below division. Then we also created a 600 to 650 division and then a 650 and above. So what we're going to do is we're going to run our 600 to 650s every Friday night. And then once we get individuals for the 650 and above, we're going to... That was a good... Sh- oh, no. Man. Oh, like a, he hit that so well. Hits a six ball, get, then the six ball comes off the rail wow. and bounces back and hits him. Um, so once we once we get the 650 and above individuals signed up, then we're going to kind of go... So let's just say we have... Because I know we're going to have a ton of 600 to 650s. So we're going to run those every week, and then we're going to mix in the 650 and aboves throughout like maybe every other week or every two weeks on that Friday night. Then on Sunday, we're going to have our the rest of our divisions. <clears throat> and what we're going to do is we're going to, every other week, we're going to do like the juniors, the juniors and the uh, 499 and belows. And then we're going to do the women's and the 599 and belows the, the following week. So we're going to alternate weeks between the two of them. Nice. Just because... <clears throat> <clears throat> that way we don't have a <clears throat> excuse me we don't have a full day here sitting all day long um <laughs> and it'll kind of spread things out and give people and if we don't have a juniors bless you if we don't have a juniors for one of the weeks then Thank we'll you. throw in the uh 599 bellows or one of the women so. sure so we're gonna we're gonna coordinate all that and what we're going to do is Good shot by Brian. Brian takes down the second rack. Two to zero in favor of Brian. Racing to nine, folks. Um, So what we're going to do is, here's the kicker, is if you guys don't come in and say, okay, we agree to play eight ball, nine ball, or ten ball, that's fine. Because then I have a wheel here, and we're going to have eight, nine, and ten on on all the spots. Uh That's like a day. Yeah, you can roll roll the dice. Spin the wheel. Yeah. Yeah. So... I think most of the time people will agree on a game, you know, because I thought about certain individuals that don't like to play rotation. Well, sure. if you don't like to play rotation, then the challenger can say, hey, do you want to play eight ball? They say yes. If not, then you spin the wheel. Yep. Um, you, get be a, a, you get a higher percentage chance of playing rotation then, right? Because you get three right. games you're playing. <laughs> yep. So <clears throat> there will be a minimum of amount you can play for, but you could, that's just minimum. You can play for whatever you want. Choose, and choose your poison. Yeah, yeah they're going to be set races. It's not good. We're just going to have this division run goes to seven, no matter what game you're playing. This division goes to nine, no matter what. This sure. division goes to 11, okay, no matter perfect. what. Yeah. Um, good point. <clears throat> I don't want it to go all night, you know, and, and I, I'm looking more, uh, more at the commentators that are helping out. I, I don't want them to be sitting here all night and, you know, well, yeah. If you're if you're sitting on your hinder and you're know, talking on this microphone for three hours, it's it's, it's tough. Yeah, it's kind of kind of challenging to keep your brain moving, especially with Brian sitting next to you. Right. That's saved. That's saved for the state tournaments that uh, <clears throat> and different events that we got coming up here. Mm-hmm, cool. Pretty exciting. So Brian elected for solids. He went off the nine on that, which. Which is fine, because I think you wanted to hold for that one ball. Just don't make that two ball. See, you should play that one off of the 11 ball. Off the clear, 11 clear, the clear that yeah. out. Yes, I agree. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's get you back over here, the overhead. Mr. Mark yeah. Topple is in the house, and he wants to get the <clears throat> first one to sign up. Hey, that sounds kind of familiar. That sounds like you, Mark. Well, you got to get to the Grudge Pages Facebook group, and uh, there's an entry form on there that you can sign up. So he tried to go off the eleven. I I, I would have preferred. I wish you that. I like your idea. Take the one off the eleven to clear that ball out of. Because then yeah, yeah. the then, only then the only ball you really had to worry about was the five ball, which he actually could have gotten shape on, like he did right here. It would have gone. It goes past the nine up in the corner. Yeah, yeah. So then there's some there's some options there, but. So Mr. Matt Jorgensen says, "Can't wait." All signed up and waiting for the phone call. Sweet. Yeah, I apologize. It's been kind of a, again, we started the process when it was still golf season. And uh, then as we started going through, I, I kind of thought of a 
different way of doing it and we wanted to revamp it before we got things rolling and I, I'm kind of glad we did because I like the formats we're going to and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, that's awesome. Who was that? Sounds like we got a tornado outside the booth here. We got dart players pushing tables around, I think. Yep. I got dart players in here. They're it's moving moving the tables and they moved it right in front of the door so we can't get out. <laughs> We're stuck in here. <laughs> yeah. Does the winner keep playing to the next week? Uh, Eric Sweeney asks. Yes, sir. Keep playing. And then on top of it, my original idea that was taken by somebody else is we are having some challenge coins made up. And if you if you keep that seat for a minimum of four weeks, you will be given a challenge coin. So we uh, Eric's asking, what days did you say for the four ninety nine and five ninety nine? And I don't know if it's really slated yet. Is it Sundays? Or, okay, Sundays. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> Great Lakes drag away. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Brian has this. He, he can see that three ball, and if he plays this correctly, so I would I would get that three ball out as soon as possible. Yep. Like right now if you can. And you want, to t you want to tickle the eight on them, or maybe well, leave it there, I suppose. Yeah, he it, doesn't really need to. Yeah, because it, it goes, so why move it? Yeah. yeah, come back up for the six ball. Get good on the Four or four? five? That's a four ball. <laughs> yeah, and it's it's off the rail ball. enough, so if he comes up just maybe a foot high. Oh, dude, I don't like this at all. I do not like saving that three ball for the last ball. Yeah, because how are you going to, well, unless See, you go up and down right the table. Right now, he would be perfect to get on the eight ball if that three ball was gone. Correct. That's, that's the path I think he should have taken. Take the three ball, get back up to that where you about where. And set up for that four ball. The four ball was far enough off the rail where you, you could take it down in that corner with pretty. Oh, uh, and that's yeah, why. This is he why. Was, he was trying to move it. Yeah. <clears throat> yep, he was trying to move it, and look where it moved it to. Yeah. So, <clears throat> I think that unfortunately was a result of playing bad, uh, uh, bad pattern on that pattern. Yeah. Yep. And not to say that you can't get out the other way, but it's a, it just makes it that much easier. Yeah, that that yeah. way, yeah. He could have gotten out, but it makes it a lot tougher. Yeah. Because yeah. then you're moving the eight ball for your lot. You're moving it, you know, and you just don't know where it's going to go. Unless you have a good indication, you know, and, and better players can see where that cube, where that eight ball is going to go. Oh, Mike tried to spin to get it. Oh, I think he hooked himself anyway, so he's glad he... No, no, I think he's got it. Well, no, Brian has it, but he hooked, oh, hooked Mike himself. Hooked himself if, if he would have made it. Yeah, if that's he true. he made that, yeah, he yeah, is. He's, he's stuck up in that corner pretty good. In the outer points. In the outer points. The outer points got him. There you go. Oh, he's got to give himself a little tester here. Just roll it in the hole. Yep. Stay still. Stroke it right in the hole. Oh, <laughs> three rails. Did he? In. I think that was five rails. <laughs> it could have been. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't count that fast. <laughs> so here at Sussex Bowl, we have a almost a full house. There. Almost every table is playing. They have a Tuesday night couples league. Uh, Joel Lamp is running it, um, I think. Um, yep. Joel and Lisa Lamp run this Tuesday night couples league. Well, I shouldn't really. Well, I guess we could say it's a couples, but. Yeah, it's a two-person. <clears throat> it's a two-player. Typical couples, yeah. yeah. Two-player league, uh, and for the most part, it's yeah, it's pretty much all couples, I think. Uh, man, woman. All right, so Mike has got to get himself on the board here to get that uh, that pressure off because he yeah. knows it's already three to zero here. He wants yeah, to and a four, four to zero is way different than three to zero. So yeah, it sure three is. Three one feels a little bit different.
Great break. Nice break. break. Look at that. He had a little spin of the cue ball, but he pulled it back nice, squatted it. The only bad thing about that break was that eight ball rested up against the five ball. How about the five ball rested up against eight ball? No, nope, eight ball was moving last. No, look at the replay. <laughs> like, Liar. Lies. No, I got to hear you say it. Scott, Lies. you're right. I was wrong. Did the five ball go over there? Hey, ball? anyone see that? Because I saw it. Hold on. We're going we're gonna <laughs> to replay it here. Uh oh, he's going to replay it. Okay, watch, watch, watch. Great, nice break. Great ball. Stop. Like Five balls moving. Like ball anyway. Ball. So. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Shut it's the first first time on the Shut your pie hole. in the world that I was right against Brian. <laughs> Shut the pie hole. Uh, I'm we gonna take advantage of this. We don't want to hear it. I'm gonna smile the rest of the night now. <laughs> uh, good, good evening, you all. B one G Bear seventy one. Who oh, that? I don't know. Who are you? Uh oh. Oh, he spun that just a little too far forward. Oh, I'm, geez. Not, I'm not quite sure where he was trying to go with that, though. Cause True, is if, if he's going backwards, yeah. It's, I mean, he could, maybe he was trying to get onto the 14 ball to try to get. Uh, he'd have to spin around that four to try to break yeah. those out. I just, I, yeah. And then you got the eight ball that's still. Sometimes what Mike unfortunately gets himself uh, stuck up into a little bit is that he shoots a little fast and he doesn't think through the whole rack entirely. Um, but you know he still shoots the ball real good, but just sometimes he gets ahead of himself. Outside. Yeah, you got to think about the whole rack. You got to yeah. think your out ball. You got to think of okay if there's trouble balls, you know how you getting those balls out, <clears throat> mm -hmm. and you got to do it early. Yeah, so B1G Bear 71 is Wes Robertson. What's up, Wes? All right, well, Brian made that, but that's not the pocket he was going for. Oh. And he <laughs> did leave Michael a shot here. Now, I think he's got, I'll tell you what. You tickle the eight here. You tickle you? the eight right here. Just just place. It's almost play the natural line and shape. Just natural rolling and just play it. Which one is he going for here? So he's going for the 11. Yeah, he's got See, if yeah. he would have hit that a little harder, it was natural shape to just rub that eight just a little and bit. And still hold position yep, for him. And yeah. still hold for that 12 yeah. ball. <clears throat> oh, Nicholas Heiser says, don't worry, guys, I'm here. Oh, brother. <laughs> well, not in a little different order, but that's all good. Yeah, I'm sure. Nick is in the house, folks. Oh. So Sean Wilkes says uh, Lamar took second at the Caram Room this past weekend uh, with a really strong field. Yeah, I saw that, Sean. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to see him play in a grudge match. Absolutely. Yeah, it'd be fun. I would love to play him. You or Sean said that? Uh, no. Uh, no, I, I Oh, you'd love would to me. play him? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, well, Mike got a good hit there, but now I see Brian... Just playing a safe right here because he doesn't really have a great shot. Yeah, yeah, just just lay up to him. get on anything, and that five ball is still horrible. If he can get ball in hand, he can actually get rid of that five ball, and then everything's pretty much wide open. I play the four to the rail to bounce into the five and try to go roll forward. Right, be the eight. Well, I don't. The problem. I don't think he needs to. Uh, he doesn't need to get that five out of there because it'll actually go. Oh, does it go across side? Hold on a second. Here. Yeah. Oh, he's going to do the Telestrator magic stuff. Oh. Yep, it does go there. Good point if he gets ball in hand. Yeah, so that clears that eight ball pretty easily. <clears throat> But again, here he left Mike a pretty easy. Yeah, he can he can hit it pretty one decent, rail. Yeah, one rail, yeah, at least get a hit. He might try to go two rails here, but I like the one rail because even if you miss it, you're not leaving Brian a whole lot. Yeah, this is this is a speed roll just into the fourteen ball and play one rail into it. Probably end up playing two rails, but it's 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 a higher percentage shot than trying to go two rails yeah. here. But he might be a little bit far out where he's really got to spin to get to that one rail. No, nah, because if let's look at it from uh, let's look at it from this angle here. Yes, yeah, so he's got to clear that one because he can he's get gotta to the clear the side. Well, I'm talking about go a oh, one rail down one rail where, down where he's yeah. looking at right so now. So yeah. this way. Yeah. yeah. To 
that short rail. That short rail. Well, he's going one rail this way now. He's going two rails this way. Miss it wide. He's going two rails. For real? Yep. Or maybe he thinks he's going two rails. Yeah, he tried going two rails. Oh, gotcha. Yep. But <clears throat> EMS News Supka says uh, you all were gone so long. I know oh, EMS oh. News. It's been a while. Appreciate ya. Yeah. Tuning in tonight though. It's Elaine from New York. Ah, gotcha, Elaine. Okay, hello, Elaine. Nice to have you here. And again, I want to thank everybody for tuning in here to Outer Point Streaming. If you are not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button for us. We certainly appreciate it. I know it's just a little gesture, but uh, the nice part about that is once we get to our 1,000 subscribers, and if you hit that like button as well, puts us a little higher on the food chain for uh, for streaming. So I appreciate everybody's interest in hitting that subscribe button for us and supporting us we couldn't do it without you guys so we certainly appreciate it Elaine says there is a lot of snow in New York is there really are you upstate New York okay so Brian's gonna try to come below this five and I don't like this because if you knock this five which he missed it the problem is you're pushing balls towards everything again now if he would have just hit that eight he might have knocked that far enough, that five yeah. far enough to the corner where he had a shot. But if he hit it directly, now you're putting yourself behind the ball. Yeah. You're putting yourself behind the eight ball. Well, I don't think uh, O'Brien had uh, seen the shot that you had played on this Telestrator. Really. Yeah, I don't he think had he ball did. He had played the six <clears throat> ball. So, uh, Nicholas Heiser says, Brian, anything on the cloth recommendation? Oh, yeah, I meant to uh, actually send you. Look up uh, Andy Cloth. Andy Cloth is a pretty good cloth. Um, but I meant to get the website from um, Jeremy West. He did send it to me. Uh, I just have to go back and look at it. There's a place down in Chicago that actually... And see, this is where... Now, look at this. Look at this. Oh, Ooh, he left yep, a shot, yep, unfortunately. Yep. But if he would have gotten over far enough... Yep. It would have been ugly. Yeah, it would have not been good. Yep. <clears throat> But again, Brian has to. He's got to smooth this shot in and get a good angle here because now that that five ball. Slightly above yeah, it. And that's perfect. Couldn't ask for any oh, better on so that. So do you lay below it? Oh, no, no, the pocket's nah, blocked. Yeah, you got to you got to hit right, run directly into that five, push the five. The five's going to go towards the long rail. Uh, that's, uh, you, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's what you had to be careful. You didn't want to put too much top on it, get too close to that ball just like you did. Yeah. You got to look at that carom coming through and see what kind of spin you got to put your cue ball to get separation All after right. your I'm a, I got to go out and watch this shot. So you're on your own for a second? Oh, man, really? Okay, well, cool. Well, man, oh, man yeah. says, uh, Elaine, looks like you got more snow coming your way. Oh, yeah, it's, it's pretty tough. He's uh, practically straight in here. Can he push? Or he's just going to try to stop it there. At least get some sort of shot. Yeah. It's probably a good shot. All right. Well, Brian's sharing it with Mike. I would say it's pretty much a good shot. Yeah. So just stay focused edge to edge here and just put it in the hole. Obviously, a good hit. Yes, it was very, very good hit. Oh, oh. and then he did that. Uh oh, oh, he still might make it. Wait for it. <laughs> Just a little harder. Hold on. <laughs> uh oh, he got the toilet. All right. You make that nice shot, and then you All do right. that. Oh, you got a toilet. All right, so Mike's just going to make this ball. Yeah, he didn't leave him great. And this is, again, this is one of those shots you just got to stay. So still, just stroke through it. Just line it up, stay still. Short, oh, short backstroke. You don't want to hit that so hard. You don't need to hit it that hard. You didn't have to yeah. get back down table for this. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. Unfortunately, that's a, that's a little Achilles heel for uh, Mike, too. That he, He's got a great smooth stroke if he slows it down. Yep. But when he fires up like that, he uh, kind of lifts his shoulder up and then drops his shoulder at the same time. So. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, Look at this. Sean Wilkes is kind of buttering me up here. Oh, boy. I'm going to have to put, 
put it on the screen. What do you say? All right. All right, so we got four to nothing in favor of Brian Otto on a race to nine for seven hundred and fifty Monopoly dollars in the in middle. In the middle. All right, it's coming out by you, I think. I yeah, it'll, it'll it'll eventually get here. Is there a little mice carrying it across the screen? Yeah, oh. Kugel cool been playing great pool. I like to see him on the stream. Yeah, well, uh, apparently there is something in the works here between him and. Uh, Dan Moser to uh, bring it back. Yeah, I think uh, we were talking about uh, after the holidays here, kind of revisiting and talking. Uh, kind of in January, maybe we'll get a little bit of a rematch to have a nice match again. Dan, Dan plays really good pool, so I'm going to step up my game a little bit. Wow, look at this break. That was a great break as well. I'd be taking solids for sure. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's almost a no-brainer. So the only... The only ball that you really eight ball. is the eight ball. <laughs> it's, yeah, eight it's the ball. only one that you really have to yeah. figure on getting on. Yeah. The four ball could be a little tricky. Yeah, because he's, he's fair the outside angle on this. He was trying to spin down for the four, and he yeah, got there. He got there. That was a good shot. So he did try to move something here, maybe move the 15. I'll tell out. you what. He could actually, if, if he cuts this, if he cuts this, he'd probably run right into the eight ball and kick the eight just, ball up. Just Move it, just, just yeah, tickle just it up towards the middle of the table. Look, oh, why wait, 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 wait. What? what are you doing, Brian? Oh, he's, I do not like that shot. He just developed a shape, though. Yeah, he got lucky with that, but mm -hmm. uh, he had perfect shape to make that four ball and come straight up and either either hit the 15 or the 8, either yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, just to develop it a little bit. Because I'm and telling you, that four ball is going to be trouble. Right. I'll tell you right now. <clears throat> and when you're so close to that, ball and you can see the edge and you don't have far to swing it's it's a great time to play even if it is a sharper angle absolutely and just get used to controlling the angle of check english or whatever you need to do uh, to make it happen so sometimes we get to like oh that shot's easier and, and play it you know but we, no you don't want to right you know it's a, it's the easier shots are not always the best shots. Yeah. It's not to say you have to play hard shots all the time, but no, the, you just have to know the difference. Difference, yeah. You just got to be smart about it. Now here, he's got to be real careful with scratching. Yeah, it's going to be, and especially with draw. Look at this! Oh, oh, oh he's got himself a bank. Yeah, and he's going to have to draw back on this to get it on the eight because the eight does not pass yeah. that fifteen ball. So. Yeah. Yeah, he decelerated on it. He oh, just kind of sure did. Blew up. Yep. He sure did. Yeah. <clears throat> Again, though, look at what he left Mike. <laughs> he didn't really leave him a whole lot. <laughs> He's like, oh, man, well, I, yeah, what I'm sticking him on here? the backs of the 12 ball. That's <laughs> exactly what he needs to do. Yeah. Nothing complicated. Now, I do not like what he's doing here. He's going to now push that 15 ball towards that 8 and 12. Oh, he played the other side of the 15. Yes. Ball. But, you know, so be it. I mean, it. It'll work if he gets ball in him, but now he just made that cluster a little bit tougher, though. And he makes, makes it a kickable shot, too. Yes, he does. Yeah, because if you take the one rail out, yep, he doesn't have a chance, but now he does have a chance. Take the other side of that 15 ball. So he did get a good hit, and again, now look at There's gonna, nothing for Mike. Yeah, yeah. So if you take the other side of the 15 ball, and like Scott was saying, plug him up against that 12, now you're taking away that one rail kick, and you're getting your 15 ball towards that pocket. Which is going to give you a little. No, it just cluster got even harder. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it was the only thing he could do, unfortunately. True. That was the only thing he could do there, and he played it well. So do you play the jump? Does Brian jump at all? I, I some don't people know. do, or some people don't. So no, he's kicking at it. So he's always oh, he's two, going two rails. Two rails. <laughs> Maybe just playing the hit. Oh, oh he's going to bust some of Mike's stuff up for him a little bit there. That kind of helped Mike a little bit. But, again, Mike does now have this two-ball cluster down here that he's got to think about getting rid of. And I think uh, Elaine uh, mistyped her last message. says, last ball it is hard to eat. I think uh, hardest probably is what she meant oh, to yeah. say. Probably. <laughs> the last ball is the hardest. Sometimes. It yeah. sure is. The last ball before the eight, especially when you're, maybe you're talking about Mike's shot going up to the corner bucket. Yeah. Mike's uh -oh. just got to be careful where that ball's going to go. I was about to say it before he even hit it. <laughs> <laughs> he got down and hit it so fast I couldn't even say. 
couldn't even say it, but I knew that ball was going right down towards that cluster, and he did not want to get it down that far. Because now he's got even more of a cluster down there. I think he's going to just hit the 15 ball. I don't know if he's going to try to make the 15. The 15 will go, but I I think he's probably just going to play a uh, safe here. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> If you give him enough chances at it, he's bound to uh, hit it somewhere. Right? <laughs> Case in point, it was a couple of nights ago at pool leagues when they were playing safeties oh, on me. Gave yeah. me the th uh, three kicks to a ball to the corner pocket, and the third kick I finally dialed the English in. And got well, that's the thing is there is a time and a place where you can play too oh, many there. safes. Yeah. I'm telling you there is. Oh, I wonder if that 15 was froze when he hit that. It was hard to tell. I don't think so because it came back off the rail. Oh, true. Yeah, I didn't double kiss and stick on the rail. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, Elaine says she's typing in bed. So, yep, <laughs> cat laying on me. <laughs> typing in bed? What time is it? Isn't it only like 8 o'clock there? Really? Like two hours ahead of us. Oh, is it two hours? Oh, yeah, it might oh, be That's two way hours. past that's my bed. Oh, that is. Oh, nine, ten, smokes. Nine, twelve. I, turns in, I turn into a pumpkin. <laughs> Is that what you call that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, a puddle that. or a puddle <laughs> too. <laughs> All right, see what can Mike can develop here. He's got those balls are not in good spots. Do you think he plays that cut shot on the twelve? <laughs> he's taking the nine. Spin it to the hole. But yeah. he's got to be careful of what side he comes in at these side because if he kicks that twelve ball up in front of the four, now he's got no pocket for it. I like spinning that 12 ball. Just play it. Yeah, throw it to the pocket, gentle. You don't give nothing up if if you don't if you hang right. it. Right. Yeah, because then your balls are getting out. And now you got. And now what? Extra less. Oh, did he play? Oh, he called a safe. Oh, he called a safe. That's a different. Here's part. the thing: if you're gonna call a safe like that, though, don't make the ball. I know. To me, it's see now. If he would have put the ball over by the pocket, now if Brian gets a good hit here, he could stuff him and not give him a shot. Oh, right. oh yeah. So if you leave that nine ball there, you at least. Oh, oh another ball in, but still. Wow! I can't believe that <laughs> went through there. <laughs> Holy cow! Still tied up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Travis King says uh, playing too many safeties can throw a guy out of rhythm. Absolutely, it does. Yeah. Sure can. What's but the, up, the, Travis? The trick about playing a safe game is when it is presented to you, you got to stay focused and get back in the stroke. No. Nicholas Heiser says eventually he's going to run out of time. <laughs> yeah, is that 12 ball? That 12 ball does go. Just be careful now. Don't draw this back too far and get yourself behind that 8. Yeah, hit it good. Yep. I come two rails, play the 8 in the same pocket. Yep. Or if you you know if you don't feel comfortable, just one Float rail it to the side, right yeah. to the side, yeah. He reset there for a second. You see that? Yeah. All right. So he want one rail to that, which is fine. That's yeah. whatever you feel comfortable with. But I like going to a corner pocket as well. You leave it for the last ball. Sometimes those uh, outer points come out and yeah. grab you. Yeah. So. Just stroke this one. Don't hit it hard. Just stroke it right in the hole. Oh, oh man! Well, like, he, like he's just a little off there. He didn't leave Brian a whole lot here. No. Nope. So Steve Zoo says hello. What's up, Steve? And Welcome. And Travis King says good evening, fellows. Good evening. So Brian's gonna play a safer. He's gonna kick that four ball out and try to leave it right behind the eight. Which? Did he leave an edge? Oh, I think he left him an edge. Yep, he yep, sure did. You've just needed to kick that out a little farther. Yep. It was the shot, definitely the shot. But yep. the, so Mike's got to be careful, though. You can't. This, this is you hit, potential this, scratch this, this side, isn't it? No, it's a potential scratch on the lower left corner, I think. Oh, he oh. overcut it. Yeah, yeah, he overcut it. No. <laughs> well, what's a feller do from here? Punt. Yeah. <laughs> you might as well just try to cross bank it right now. Yeah, just take the shot and yeah. you make it, you make it, you win. Yeah, that's what yeah. he tried. Uh-oh. But oh, 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 look oh, at no. this. <laughs> look at this. Oh, he, Jesus. He went, he went 16 <laughs> feet to get to that safety. Holy cow. <laughs> Double outer points, Tim, too. Oh, man. Oh. And the save. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh yeah. 
Yeah, holy cow, we got a. Well, my you kick's win. pretty good, so let's watch yeah, that. That's what he tried. Oh, 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 look at oh, this. Oh, 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 Jesus. He went pinball. He went <laughs> holy cow. Oh. Wow, that's uh, that's unfortunate because uh, oh, it looks like he's going long on this one again. Oh, I think he's going short. Really? Oh, way short. Oh, he, oh, 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 got oh. it. Oh, oh yes. yes, got that. Let's take a look at that oh, one again. That was kind of like a. Ooh, no, I think he's go short. Yeah. Gonna, it's gonna, oh, we the it. two rails into it. Oh, yeah, he, oh, oh, <laughs> got it. Oh, 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 oh right. right, got Michael Saboto on, on the board. On the board. Yeah, well, four to one's better than five to zero it for sure. Sure is. Race to nine. You put him after that halfway point of five, and it's just like then the pressure really gets on you. So. I think that was uh, that was justice for Mike because uh, that <laughs> that's safe. I tell you, that was one hell yeah, of a Sometimes safe shot. you just <laughs> shake your head. How the heck did that happen? You know, and that that's the thing is that people don't get. Trust me, I I've been on both ends of it. You yeah, know, at yeah, pool absolutely. you have roles. Yeah, sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. Yeah, yeah. I had I had actually had to. Ex Tim Tim Armbruster was at the Friday night. Okay. Sorry to hear that, Tim. You know how many times I heard him complain <laughs> about a shot? You didn't leave me a shot. Oh my God! It didn't leave me a shot again. It didn't leave me all night long, even until the last match. I'm like Tim, Tim, stop. You play much better if you don't let that get to you. Again. Yeah. You know you've been playing pool long enough. Yep. You know there's rolls in pool. Sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. And you always have a shot. Yeah. If, you, if you're at the table, you have you, one shot right. or something or other. Maybe not an offensive shot, but you have a if, shot. If you don't let that affect you, you play much better. Yeah. Yeah. Trust me, it, it happens to everybody. <laughs> everybody. Everyone. It sucks when it happens to you, yeah. but yeah. it <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah, so Elaine says, whew, I must have been talking about the eight ball. <laughs> and then I uh, oh he, see that jab stroke <laughs> tried to spin into those and he just jabbed at it didn't didn't smooth through that stroke there yeah. get you back to the overhead here so this is gonna give Mike an opportunity only is he solids yep yeah. yeah the solids uh, he could if he gets back to a good point right here he could use that four ball to run into oh he went back a little too far but Sure, why well, you wanted to get there, but hmm, hmm. So no. he's gonna just from clear here the one and then maybe the three and well, then back the back to the four, or I stick him up hard on the two. You know, I suppose. Yeah, just maybe carry him off the left side of the five, which yeah. is yep. Put mm -hmm. him right up against that two ball and kind of move that two a little bit if you can, or not. Because now he left a one rail kick again, though. Yeah. And if Brian is able to make this shot, he's going to get great angle, possibly get good angle on that 15 ball. Yeah. So yeah. it looks like he's just trying to get a hit here. He didn't even try to go <laughs> to make any ball. Yeah. And that's and just, I tell not, you what, not a bad shot. Yeah. For sure. You, you know, you, you're pretty sure you're going to hit that ball down there. You're going to hit one of those balls. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I, li I like that shot by Brian. That was, that was well thought about. He's playing the four. He's off going the off nine. the nine, but then you're pushing the nine towards all those all those yeah, balls. Yeah, oh wow! Yeah, look he, at that! Holy cow! How'd that come out? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow! That came out fantastic. I tell you. Yeah, knowing Mike Stroke, he, he was going to wind up on that one. It wasn't yep. it wasn't going to be a, just a floater in there. I like this shot here because I was about to say the five ball would be great to bank here, but I didn't know if he wanted to be a – oh, all right, or play safe. There you go. I thought he was going to actually go for that five ball and make the five, you know. Yeah, he initially pointed that as a cut shot. Um, as a, No, I, I would have banked it. I don't yeah, think I would have banked it too, but uh, but he pointed it as a, bank, as oh, a cut shot. Oh, did he shot, really? And then, then he got up and played safe. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Going to get hit. He missed fall. everything. All right, here's an opportunity for Mike to get out. Yeah. The balls were cut pretty the, well in the open. Cut the score in half. Off. I would leave that three ball, personally. Oh, yeah. Exactly. You played the two, five, six Although, on the side. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 
Yeah, it's I, yeah, two down. Actually, you picked yeah, two in the two, two in five, the corner. Two five six. Five yeah. six, and then three ball stop right there for the eight. Yeah. I wouldn't have this straight in though. I would actually put a little angle to come out. Yeah, you you want to be able to be almost not necessarily. It could be straight in on the five ball. But I don't. You don't I don't like. He needs more of an. There you go. More yeah, of an angle. Go. There you go. Just, That's much better. Just get back out there. Yep. Come back out towards that six ball. Leave yourself so that you can get straight in on that six. Just like that was that was perfect. Yep. That was a good shot. So now I can stop the five, stop the six, stop the three, stop yep. the eight. Three stop shots. Are, are you using that stop stroke that uh, has been taught? <laughs> What's that <laughs> stop stroke? It's a stop stroke. You ever heard of the stop stroke? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a great shot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, stop shot. No, it's a stop stroke. Stop stroke. Why is he pushing forward? Well, because he's got a little outside angle, so he wants to make sure he clears enough. Oh, he's, he's fading up. down. Okay, I, I didn't see the outside angle. I thought he was... Like, so just don't you don't want to draw this back too far and get hooked behind the ten. So just yeah. center ball, center ball. Even yeah. if you go to the rail, you're still fine. Yeah. Just yeah. don't put draw. He's putting a little draw on it, and he can't draw it too far. It's okay if you there you go. See how he he started low, but yeah. then as he came through, he came yeah. center. That yeah. that was a yeah. center ball hit there, folks. <laughs> yeah. Might have been a half a tip below center. Stay down on it. Yeah, and stay down. Exactly. All right, well. Cut the score in half. Four to two. In a race to nine. Thank you all for tuning in here yeah. to Outer Point Streaming here at Hollenbeck's Q Club in Sussex Bowling, Sussex, Wisconsin. I am Brian. Hallelujah, Hollenbeck. And in the booth with me tonight is my good friend, Scott Jackwagon Kugel. Mr. Scott. Mrs. <laughs> Or Elaine says, uh, fate will rule, I suppose. Yeah, on the table, absolutely. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Trap the cue ball and crash and miss all. You're good on your drink, or you need another drink. You know, I probably could use a tit tick of water, I suppose. I think Michelle is listening. I don't know, is she on the phone or is she listening? I don't know what the hell she's doing. Just maybe wave her down. Oh, I think I think she is listening, so what do you want? Are you good? Nah, I'm good for now. Well that's what you see. I don't have too much go go juice. <clears throat> and I'm wired. Yeah, no kidding. Mike is going hard. Yep, he's going doing what he can. Realized that he kinda of faded away a couple of shots in the earlier rack, so he said he's gonna Tighten it down a little bit to maybe even slow it down a little bit. Yeah, with the alternate break format, you know, it's there's there's always a chance to get back. And uh, um, we're going to see what he's okay. So he's, yeah, he just didn't want to hit that ball. Eh. Now that two ball is horrible. Oh, it's perfect. What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was it yeah. was okay before, but. Oh, he pushed it on there. I was grabbing yeah, my water. He pushed that 14 ball down right in the path of it, unfortunately. That was a good shot. Yep. I didn't think that ball went past there. But it did. So now now he's stuck, though, because that six ball will not go. Nope. That seven ball will not go. I don't think that six ball goes, does it? Uh, seven ball goes to this corner pocket. So he, he does have, obviously, the four ball here, but... Yeah. You got to think about how you're getting those balls now. I mean, especially now that two, the two is jammed up as well. Yeah, he's going to have to get a good shape on that seven to the corner pocket. Tickle the six, get shape on the six. Does it look like that? Will that seven go past the nine? Yeah, I think it goes best. Yeah. Have to. Oh, yeah, all day. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he was trying to run into him, but I tell you what, did he get on the two? Nope. Nope. He got on the seven. Kind of. Kind of. But with that set, he's got to draw back on this a little bit because if he doesn't, I don't think he's going to hit that. No. No, I don't think so either. Especially putting top. Of, oh, he did. He was able to hit it. But he overcut it. So. Yeah. And the thing about it is he hit it so hard, though. 
that even if he made that, yeah, he wouldn't have been in that exact spot, but the six ball would have been about roughly where it is now, and the cue ball would have been roughly about where it is, so he yeah. had nothing after that. Yeah. You can't hit that ball that hard. You just want to just rub it just a little bit. That was actually a good shot by uh, Brian there to, to hold for the 14, just to see if he plays the 14, but oh, he's, he's got a nice angle 14, to come yep. up. You know, and, just and that 10 ball looks like it's far enough off the rail. It will go on the side. Yeah, all the ball's going. You just got to see if Oh. Focus. Brian dropped his shoulder on that one. Did you see yes, that? Yes, he yeah. did. Oh, he, <coughs> he dropped his shoulder. Steered it time. a bit. And the thing about it is it's okay to do that drop arm, but you have to stay in you have to stay in your stance. You have to stay down and through it. You know, if you drop everything too much, that's when that shot goes awry. You know, I can see if, oh. All right. Well, Brian has a second chance. Yeah. This would be a huge game for Brian, you know, if it was five to two, way better than four to three. Oh yeah. It's a psychological difference there for sure. Big time. So we got player profiles. You want to read a player profile or you want me to? Uh, you can do it. Oh, I am in charge of player You're in charge profile. of it. Okay, boy, See, you know, boy, I don't boy. know if I like this shot here by Brian. Why don't you just take that no. 14 ball, come back out to the center table, then you have your choice of which other which you want. Yeah. You know, because, yeah, you're making that shot. No, okay, not you're making not making it. that shot. <laughs> See, now, to me, there there was the, the choice of, you know, somebody, well, you said to take some hard shots sometimes. Well, <laughs> that, that's, that was a, f it, it was a fairly easy shot, but at the same time, you had an easier way of getting back yeah, to that, that ball. There's and, a lot, yeah. Oh. Yeah, Mike is not staying in his, in the stroke in here the stroke either. either. All right, why don't you read one of those player profiles? Who do you like first? Uh, why don't we do Mike? Because he's played here before. So uh, do you want yeah. the light on? Uh, no, I can see. You see it? I can put it on the screen here, too. Yeah, so we got uh, Mike's buddy. He has played here a few times before, a couple challenge matches. I don't know is it, what his record or who he's played, but uh, Mike is 54 years old. Oh, wow. Someone's older than me. Might and be, Brian, even. Might be 55, right? Holy smoke. <laughs> someone's older than Brian. <laughs> there, <laughs> there's one person older than Brian. So anyway, he's from Fond du Lac. Um, he plays with a Q-Tech. He's been playing for 21 years. Uh, the favorite drill to get in stroke is practicing cut shots. Uh, it's not a bad one, to, 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 but to develop your stroke, you want to try using a different shot. Uh, Texas Roadhouse and the IHOP are his favorite mm, restaurant. I do not like that shot. He should have taken that up in the corner to hold it for that level because then yeah. he had the right angle. Now he's going away from the eight ball. Yeah, and he's going to try to play Karen. Oh, he well, got fortunate there. Yeah. Yeah. He played it well. Yeah. And his favorite place to play is Sussex as well as the ballroom. Nice. All righty. How did you start playing pool? April 24th, divorced, finalized. <laughs> huh. 21 years ago, probably. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Uh, stopped at Romines. That'll do it every time. Yep. Go to a pool hall and get you hooked. Makes two of us. <laughs> it's almost kind of like a, a, a tattoo. You know, some people are like, yeah, I don't, I tell you, if you don't want to get several of them, don't get one. Because once you get one, <laughs> you get to like addictions. Yeah, They're like, yeah. oh, I'd like to have this one. And <laughs> as long as you bring, bring meaning to them, like some people just get them just to get them. I, I, every single tattoo of mine, I ha it has meaning. Cool. Yep. All right. So that gives Brian another game. So he is up five, five. to two. Yes. Yeah. Race to nine. Yeah. So. It, Alternate break format. Supkis has two cats on her now. Oh, does she? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, you don't want to know the kind of cat I like. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know what kind of cat you like. <laughs> <laughs> you know what kind of cat I like. Wow. <laughs> oh, dead cat. A dead cat, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you wouldn't like me, yeah, because you're allergic to them. Right? Oh God, yeah, <laughs> and by the horrible. Way, my, my brother has four cats up there in Minnesota oh, now too. What? Are you serious? Four cats and two dogs in the house. So, oh, yeah. Jesus! They're pretty nice cats, but <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> you'd be you'd care. be sneezy as soon yeah. as you get in the house. I don't care how nice they are. They're not nice enough. <laughs> the, <laughs> they're, of they're not dead enough. <laughs> yeah, they're dead. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but did you see that cat that? Um, 
uh, Don and Dave, you know, they come here all the time. Her brother, as a matter of fact, the guy who owns that, the guy who owns that Shepherd Arms. Okay, sure. Him and his wife, who is, his wife is Dawn's daughter. Oh, okay, gotcha. Okay. Did you ever see the cat that they have? No. Uh, Are you serious? Uh, the cat stands about this tall, like sitting up. Oh, man. It's is a, it, it's is an, it a coon cat or something? It's like an exotic cat. It's oh, one of those big cool ones. Cool as shit, cat. Yeah. <laughs> and I get, they just got another one. Oh, jeez. Yeah. But uh, the cat might, they might actually have the cat up at uh, the arms. They they have the cat up there quite a, quite a bit. Really? <laughs> yeah. We went, when we went there for the grand opening of it, <clears throat> they had the cat up there. It was pretty cool. I'll have to tell Barb when she goes to pick up her, her handgun to see if they have the cat. Yeah, there. ask if the cat is there. Ask you if the cat is there. So like one of those one of those tall like big yeah. exotic pet yeah, cats. It's, or like, it's yeah. like it, you have to have a permit for it. Sure, I believe it. Yeah, it looked like it came straight off the African safari. <laughs> <laughs> Probably good to mess you up too. Uh, I suppose. yeah. <laughs> if you piss it off. I think they had a declawed because if you didn't, that's good. Now, so Mike is in a tough spot here. He he's going to try to cross bank this six because he put himself in a bad spot there. Yeah, he's literally like, "Wow, oh man, that's very unfortunate." Because he hit that bank good. He good drilled that bank. Too, uh, I yeah, <laughs> that's a little I think they, they had a declawed because if like he that? didn't, that's good. So Mike is in a tough spot here. He he drew it right. Okay, yeah, he did. He's straight carrying right to the corner pocket. If you look at the the spot. Sorry, I gotta actually go. <laughs> Bless you. I gotta go back. Man, there. I think I'm allergic to Brian. Wow. Well, you see, you just happened to mention cats, and all of a sudden <laughs> yeah, you're sneezing. I'm, sneezing. So I'm not the only one here. <laughs> yeah. All right, so Brian, I think that one ball will. Oh wait, no, oh, Brian's That's back right, on stripes. stripes. So was, that was if, a great if shot. If he gets on the slime ball, he might be in good shape. Wow, he got it really good. I don't know if I take it now though. No, you no. got the wrong angle. No, go up for the eleven yep. on this shot off the fifteen. Yep. Take the 15. He got away with it, but, he, again, you you want to move balls as least as you have to. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, he got there, and there, there's good ways, bad ways to get out, and there's backwards, inside out. But but now he's at the 50-yard line on both of these shots here, either the 10 or the, or the 11 here because – He's going to be going towards the 12. Well, he hit that one really good. Yeah. He put some, he put some good inside English on that, which yeah. really helped that shot out. All right, you just got to do again a little inside and yep. float across the table, play the 10 to the corner if you can get nice on it. Just a long way to go to get good shape on it. See, he's so focused on the yep. shape, yep. he lost track of the shot. All right, Mike has an opportunity here to cut another game off. He's got to get focused here. He's got to just start stroking it. Yep. He's poking a little bit too much at it. Yeah. And a race, race to nine. And it's. it's uh... <laughs> you see that finger? Oh, Mike's little pinky. Yeah. I don't know if it's got uh, if he broke it at one time or if he's double jointed in that. But when he sets his hand down, that that pinky. Oh like, yeah! Holy smokes! Look at Mike. See that? <laughs> Mike, if you're listening to this tomorrow, oh man, that's messed up. <laughs> <laughs> You've never noticed that? No. Oh. <laughs> See, now, now he put it yeah. down. Yeah. That's like the one of the few times he's actually put it down. Every single time he actually. That's like a pinky freak show right yeah. there. <laughs> when he sticks his hand on the table, every time it's on the table, that pinky is, it, it like points up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's smelling the so air. He's got to leave himself a little anger here, angle here to get to the other side of the table. He doesn't want to be straight. Yeah. He's oh, what? Wait, under, wait, 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 wait. Oh, I, yeah, I'm not quite sure about that one, but he's just got to play I think a good shot. I think he could have just slow rolled that in and yeah, had a good yeah. angle to get to the other side of the table, but it worked out as long as he makes this shot. Makes this shot. And this isn't quite natural. You know, it's <laughs> There's his pinky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that really creeps me out, Mike. <laughs> it's <laughs> oh, that looks. Oh, oh, my finger hurts I have just looking. Never, I, how in the hell does it do that? Oh, no, it's got to be double jointed. There's no. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. Kidding me. Oh, man. He is. That's unfortunately. Mike, unfortunately, why. is shaking his head. Yes. 
And maybe it's a little commentary. He's giggle about his pinky. I'm sorry if we did that to you, Mike. But. Yeah. No, we did not say he's out of the rack. So we didn't commentate, curse him. Oh, yeah. We were just making fun of him. We were pinky. just, well, you were making fun of him. I was just pointing it out. Oh, no, pun right. in, no pun you intended. Were, <laughs> you were laughing too. So <laughs> I was laughing at what you were saying. That's all him, Mike. That's yeah, all him. Yeah. I love you, Mike. <laughs> All right, so that goes from that's a big swing right there. Yeah, now you go from five to three to six to two. Six so. to two, and then going to nine, he's basically playing a little race to three to get to the set. Yep, and Mike has seven to go, so he's going to have to he's going to have to turn it on here a little bit, unfortunately. What I like when you're thinking about like and I don't know what you think about when you're in a set, Brian, when you're playing a guy and say you're at six to two, and I look like I'm playing a race to three to get to the end of the, the set. I look at, okay, in a race to three, what's the most important game of the race to three? The first, the first game, first right? One, yeah. The first game. So now, for Brian, in my opinion, this is one of the most important games of mm -hmm. the set because it's a mentally you're playing a race to three. Yep. So grind down hard and get it there. That is it. And he's got the break with the alternate break format. A race to nine, six to two in favor of Brian Otto. Thank you all for tuning in here to Outer Point Streaming here in Hollenbeck's Q Club in Sussex Bowling, Sussex, Wisconsin. 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 <laughs> yeah, Supka says unlucky scratch. Yeah, that was pretty unfortunate. Yeah, was yeah. Very unlucky. Yeah. He hit that good to clear that ball out of there, but uh, he hit it too good. Yeah. The cue ball just slid right in. In my opinion, is that I would stay compl completely clear of that corner pocket, not even worry about trying to pocket that ball. He drew yeah, right into it. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Just it, avoid it. You know, right. Just, just you, avoid. You don't yeah. need to. You don't need to hit that ball because you don't. It's your last ball. You don't need yeah. to so clear that ball for anything. Say he didn't didn't scratch. He's he's hanging in the hole in the bottom pocket, and then he's gonna float all the way down the table for his eight ball shot. Yep. So, but so Brian elected for stripes here. I don't know if that that's I'm not switching. Is that twelve ball? I see the twelve ball. Yeah, I don't know if that twelve yeah, ball. Awful close. That's in a bad spot. He's gonna have to clear that out. But the thirteen ball has to get cleared as well. So he goes back for it here if see if he plays it good. Does it pass back. the five? Oh, yeah, it yeah. passed the five. Okay, well maybe. he he went the other way. It worked uh, out. It will not yeah, but the only problem is that it won't go past the eleven, so he's gotta go on the side. Now yeah, he's yeah. kinda stuck. See, because he's got the wrong angle now. For yeah. the, he's gonna have to bank the twelve. He, he must think that ball goes. He looked just like a uh, ball goes. Gosh, I don't know. I bet you if you twist, you, th you throw that ball. And, oh, oh, now it goes. Yeah, he's got the edge yeah. of it. He can go. Yeah, oh. now there's no question. If that eight ball moves, he fouled. If it doesn't move and he makes it, it 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 went. What's nice about this shot? It naturally throws fat to the hole too. So, Ooh. oh, he tried to hold it underneath there. Yeah, I don't know why he tried to hold that. Yeah, no. I don't think he purposely tried to hold it. I think he was just worried about the scratch or something. Yeah, like maybe the scratch because he drew it, drew a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I think it was just a straight. But he wasn't center ball scratch shot. though. Yeah, center ball shot. Throw it fat to the hole a little bit, and then. And so Mike only has one little trouble ball, and that's the four ball. But so yep. he's. Unless he uh, sees it off that 12 ball, but it's hard to tell. What I would do is I'd make this three ball. I'd make the three ball and put the put, bring the cue ball towards the six ball and then just literally just stick, stop stick the six. Them apart, stick them. Yeah. Stick them right on the five. Because then once you, if you get, well, he decided to go seven ball. Okay. If you get ball in hand, then that four ball goes all the way up. Yep. Yeah, once that three is out of there. Supka says one inch too late. Yes, it was. See if the three ball is gone. Oh, yeah, I thought uh, maybe he'd have the four ball here, but well, if the three ball was gone, he could have at least tried to play down there for the four ball and get on yeah. that rail and play the four ball up. But yeah. unfortunately, he should have gotten rid of this ball, the okay. first one. Yep, yeah, I agree. So he's feeling that he's going to get his last shape underneath that four ball. He's got to get perfect underneath that. Oof. That's tough. Well, it, here's what I would I would actually try to push that cue ball over almost to the rail, a little bit outside the rail, because then you have the outside angle yeah. going yeah. towards the four ball and get below it. Uh, I'm not quite sure what he is. 
Oh, he got an outside angle. But the way yeah, he got an outside angle. He should, uh, now, that would have been a perfect, well, wouldn't have been a perfect save, but it would have been a good save. Yeah, now what do you do over here? Honestly, if, if he can, I know it's a tough shot, but if he can run the two into the 12, make the 12, and then the, cue, the two ball is clear, is, is block on the pocket for the eight. Okay. I mean, that's the only thing you really. Yeah. God, yeah. do you think that four ball, looking at this, do you think the four ball would go? I think it goes off the 12. Off yeah. the 12? Yeah, if he hit the 12 fat. But the 12 may catch that point and double kiss it out. So Did you just call me fat? Oh, I call myself fat. Well, you're trans slender. I'm trans slender. <laughs> yes, I love that. <laughs> oh, man. Look at this. Down. Look oh, at this. Man. Look at this. He's going to be stuck up on it. Look at this. Wow. Well, maybe he's that got, was a good shot, Mike. You might be going out there to look at a hit here. Yeah, I might be. Oh, I think he said he's playing safe. He's going to leave the one rail kick, though. Ooh, oh, that's, wow. That worked out pretty good. And that did. Forever in your favor. If that four ball moves, I think it's. All right, oh, I'm going to go out and right watch this. The, watch the hit. I think this is a. Oh, gosh, do you play this ball? I think you call safety and pocket your 12 ball. Very tough shot. Soft roll, just nudge into it. Oh, I can't watch it without O'Brien. Oh, I can watch the monitor here. All right. Oh, did he hit that? Like, with, that's no question a good hit. Holy cow. That monitor was deceiving. You bet, Sup, because that was a nice shot for sure. Tim Armbruster. Hey, Tim. How's it going? You didn't hear us bad mouthing it, did you? Good Did I hear you. Tim Armbruster's in the house? <laughs> yes, he is in the house. I just happened to walk in on that. And, oh, outer points got him. <laughs> yeah, you make another good yeah. shot like that, and then you toilet that one too. What's up, Tim? You should have heard what Scott was saying about you. Before. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to plead the fifth. <laughs> right in the hole. We were talking about rolls, and that pool is full of a full of rolls. Right, wrong, and indifferent. So Tom Krieger, oh, did you get the message from Tom? Yeah, like a picture of a pool table with some balls on it, and there was nothing with it. So That's Bruce's house. Yeah, I know, I know it's Bruce's house. but And they're watching the stream in the background. Oh well, you you gotta you gotta work inside my brain. <laughs> I yeah. gotta pick up all that stuff all Tom, at the same time, right? Sorry, Tom, I had to see that message before it actually got translated correctly. <laughs> yeah. I might not be a smart man. <laughs> well, I didn't say that. <laughs> I'm all pretty right. tired. I think I'll go home now. <laughs> Six to three. Mike got it to break it in half. And like you're saying, just now play another race to three. Yep. There you go. Play it. So Tim Armbruster says, I'm here to take your abuse as always. <laughs> <laughs> we love giving the abuse along with our mediocre commentary. <laughs> That's at best. Uh, oh, uh, oh, oh. I wasn't looking good oh, for a second. No, oh, oh, go, 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 go. oh, still wait, wait that, for it. Yeah, yeah, that 11 ball wanted to go. Well, that cue ball wanted to go at first, and then I had all that spin on it. Yeah. <laughs> and said zip, and then hit the 11, and the 11 was about to go, but unfortunately, nothing fell. So this I'm is going to give. He's got one choice here. <laughs> yeah, I think he's taking stripes. What do you think? Yeah, just a good guess, but. I mean, he could. I I do see a seven ball combo that would work, but yeah. this one I play off the rail and play some speed on it just to get out. I'll try to control it. Yeah, he didn't really get to a good spot there, unless that thirteen ball. Can you see that thirteen ball through all that traffic? Yeah, you can. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, we have not there. the ideal shot because that fifteen ball is still kind of hosed Longer. up. Better than nothing. Yeah, absolutely. And overcut it yeah. just a little bit. You dropped his shoulder again. You got to keep your shoulder there. 
Yeah, uh, Mike's sitting in pretty good position. Oh, Ooh, that, that was close. Been. Mike's sitting in pretty good position here. If you drop your, it's just still like a uh, cue ball foul only, right? Yeah. So if you drop your chalk into an object ball, you can move the object ball back. But well, if you drop it into two object balls, then it would be a foul. Right? Yeah. Here's the thing, though, is if you happen to, I tell you, that's that's a shot I was hoping that he was going to take, but unfortunately he hit it just a little too hard, and you moved all those balls like you moved the bi five ball now okay. in a bad spot. Yeah. Um, it is cue ball fouls only, but there is a rule stipulation that if you drop something on the table, like if you like if you have the cue ball. In your hand, hand yeah. You drop it yeah. and it hits, but it also if you have that's a piece a of if you have a piece of chalk in your hand, you drop the chalk. That's an that's an outside object. They call it an equipment foul, right? Yeah, equipment foul. So like, <clears throat> do something if, with the bridge, right? If it hits, well, uh, the bridge is the same way though. If you if you hit the bridge on an object ball, you can move the object ball back. But if it's two object balls, yeah, then, then, then it's a foul. Then fall. Yeah. Or if the cue ball comes back within that path, seven inches of that path of where you hit that ball, then it's a foul as yeah. well. Yeah. <clears throat> Supka says double drop. I think he pocketed that six ball as well as that one ball at the same time when he hit a little bit too hard. Oh, did he pocket the six ball? Yeah, it came in the side pocket, if I remember right. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, it did. Now, he's got to figure out. Yeah, he's got to develop this and you know, load her up with inside and come into that 15. Get it to move. Man. Yeah, I like the inside angle. Do you like, like the inside angle shot? And just try I don't think so, because I don't think he's going to get enough on it. I think if he if he cuts his five in. Oh, he can actually see the edge of the five. It's far enough off the red. He can cut it. He'll come straight back across it the table. Well, he's got to hit it hard enough where it either catches the 15 enough as he overcut oh. it. He overcut that. If he would have cut it correctly, I think it would have caught enough of the 15 where it would have pushed the 15 pushed it out more yeah. and held it for the four ball, and then he would have been fine. But he overcut it, so he didn't hit as much of the five ball as he wanted to, and that's why it caught the left side of the 15. Right. Now, that 15 ball does not go past the four, so... Brian just has a little bit of work here to do. I don't particularly like taking this 10 ball now because you won't run into the 15 ball. You won't run into it enough to kick no, it out. No, no. you either want to get the angle. Wow, that was nice. Yeah. Yeah, except he should have hit that just the a little high. Jeez. So he uh, might be hooked no, at the 13. He here. can't see the 13 ball. And he's right next to that 15 ball. I can't see the 14 ball. No, okay. so he can cut the 10 ball in the side. I'm looking straight at that. He's got that. So he's calling the 15-12 combo. I don't like that shot. Kind of a two-way try to get the cue ball up out of the way. I'll tell you what, that worked out. Because yeah. Mike is at the 50-yard line with that five ball. Yep. He can't cut it because he's going to scratch, and he cannot back cut that. He could back cut that, but he had yeah, to hit he that so, so good, yeah. hard that that cue ball is going to be flying around the table. Yeah. And that's the last thing you want to do. Well, let's see if we can develop a safety here, but boy, oh boy. He's what did he call something across the corner? What did he call? The four ball, back cutting the four ball. Oh, Okay. I thought he was cross I mean, I, That's not getting between them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And do. That's really kind of the only shot. I mean, he could. He could cut the five ball. Obviously, he's going to hit the other point and try to put the cue ball down behind the three. Uh, but uh, that's that's a tough shot, too. Sure, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> You know what? That was almost a good way, good two way shot. If he would hit that a little softer, yep. he could have gotten behind that three ball, kind of like yep. what I was talking about. Yep. But unfortunately, now oh. he kind of opened up everything for, yep. for Brian. Just play, 
So your opening shot here, Brian, could just nothing fancy. Just roll that 14 ball, play the 15 next, come back for the 13, and get yep. yourself out. Just, just get it to the hole. Connect the like dots that. here. Left perfect angle. Just come back out, give yourself a nice angle to the short rail, bounce back out. Not there. Oh, slow down. Eh, he's still fine. Yeah. He's actually got a good angle to come back down table enough to ew, see how to either stay to the left of that 12 yeah, yeah. or come back down table for the 12 on the side. Correct, but he yeah. he kind of went to the 50-yard line here. In a big way. He played to the corner and then rub it in the four, I think. This is the shot. Oh, oh that's not what he wanted to do. Two, two stroke and done. Well, the only positive part about that is he's making Mike uh, think about the eight ball now. Yep. Yeah. He's got to get good position on it. What do you like, the five, three, and then the four is your out ball? And roll, no, I don't, like, the eight ball? <clears throat> I don't like the four is the out ball because it's so, you got you to gotta hit it, you got to make sure you get perfect shape on it. Take the four, take the four ball all the way down, straight down here. Take the four ball straight, roll down, just past the side pocket for the five and the side, and then the three, and then come up for, see, he got a little, yeah, he might be okay, but he's got to be careful with this. This is all a speed shot right here. If he can get on the rail, but he can't get too straight, though. Yeah, if you, if you punch your cue ball here, you got the eight <coughs> in the corner pocket. Is yeah. The, the, the shot that I was looking at, yeah. Yeah, he hit it good. Yeah, so now he has to do this. But the, the reason why I don't like this is because you're stuck up on the rail. Yeah, yeah. It's the only reason why I don't like that shot, being stuck up on the rail. He could roll it out a little bit, but if you roll it out too far from the rail, then you're creating an angle on that eight ball. And you're causing yourself a little more. Looks like he's trying to punch it out a little bit. Mm, did a pretty good job. Yeah, he did. Hit it well. And he's got to stay focused on this one. Supka says, terminal drop. Yeah. In the back. Yeah, we'll give him a little applause yeah, for that. Yeah, he played yeah. that one pretty well. Yeah. Now we got a game. Yeah, you know, six to four. Six to four. Back within two. Race to nine. And again, now it's a. What you look at it's a still a short race to three. Play that first game. Yeah, yeah. The first game is a hard game to get. Keep going. <laughs> now, Brian. Brian. You will think say, about it, like race to three versus a race to five. You yep. think about that. So he will say that uh, he's had his opportunities. Yep. And he has, but uh, unfortunately, he just didn't capitalize on him. <laughs> All right, alternate break format. So, Brian will be breaking this one in rack number 11. Or as Jeff Brown would say, no, it's rack number 10, so I'm the even. So, uh, Brian's breaking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good break. Yeah. He's got to get separation on that eight, and not and so not much. so much. That's a tough one there. I mean, he could he could go off, take one of those balls off. He could actually take the six ball right here and probably run right into the eight ball. Yeah. But the only issue you have with that is getting back up on the five ball because if you take the six, you almost want to get on the five now, but that 14 ball is in the way for you to run into that eight ball. I think, you know, I, I personally only play, play the nine ball now and then play the 11 off the one. Yeah, or he could. Yeah, Let's he see. could. He could actually play if he played the fort. Oh, 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 oh. He could have actually played that uh, the fourteen ball there. Cut the fourteen ball, and it would probably oh, come straight sure, down yeah. right into the eight. Yeah, <clears throat> and all these balls go, so there's nothing yeah. wrong with these three stripes down here. So right, but I, I like I like now the thought that you were talking about. Take the nine ball, take the eleven off the one. And then everything's cleared. Then you got the 14 up table, you got the 10 <coughs> down table. I see so there's a lot of yeah, options to get to these other three. The only issue you have two. right now with taking this nine ball, though, and holding it is you're going to run the 12 ball against the rail. 
Yeah, but uh, Brian uh, took solid. Oh, that's right. He did, didn't he? Yeah. Oh, shit. That's right. Hey. No, there's Don. Hey, Don. Don is in the house. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah, I, I got on the stripes because I'm thinking, oh, I could take the 14. Like, <laughs> right. Yeah, take the solids. Right, right. Yeah, I was looking at the opening shot playing the nine ball. Mm -hmm. And you still had some uh, soldiers out there to work with. Oh, Mike's trying to develop something a little bit here, I think. Uh, yeah, he's, he, hit that, he hit that well. Yeah, you sure did. He hit that real well. <laughs> hey, you're making fun of his pain. I no, I see. I did not say anything about. It. I said, look, <laughs> your his, point, your point his hand that. was on the rail, and that pinky was so far in the air. I'm like, ouch, <laughs> ouch. <laughs> yeah, like, oh man, that's a, that's just crazy, Mike. All right, so if this eleven ball, I think he wants to go into this clean. What? Yeah. Why? The, wait, why? You, well, that's only not even a half a pocket over there. Really? That's yeah. That tight? Yeah, yeah, you're looking it's, straight it's down. Pretty darn so. tight over there. Put a little inside on this. Don't hit this too hard. Hold it for the uh, hold it for the eleven from the corner or uh, or nowhere. Oh uh, yeah, you don't want to be there. Oh boy, that's the one spot you don't want to be. And now he's now he's taking the eleven, but he's doing a combo. <laughs> combination. Yeah, I'm not uh, cool. What are the Vegas odds on this year? Yeah, it's, uh, slim to none and slim left the building. <laughs> slim just left the building. Oh, Slim almost oh, made it back in the building. He was trying to go. Was he trying to go off the eight? Uh, no, I would say no. But I tell you what, if he was trying to go off the eight, yes. that was genius. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're talking about Mike now. So, ow, Mike, did you <laughs> sorry, hear that? Sorry, you don't Ouch. listen to that, Mike. I'm just teasing. Ouch. <laughs> Ow, that still hurts me. <laughs> oh, no, just kidding. <laughs> oh, oh, um, whoa. Uh-oh. Yeah. Well, he yeah, just he left Mike uh, pretty farm. easy out here. Sold the farm. Mike just wants to make sure he gets out. Away from the rail. Out away from the rail. Yeah. Because if he's going towards the rail, he's going to have to go off the, well, I mean, even if he's yeah, close. Yeah, but there's just hit it with confidence, hit it smooth in the hole, and just. Hard. Just don't come back too far. Ah, perfect. That yeah. was perfect. Yeah, you had it good. The ball real good. Because now you don't have to. Even if you do run into the one, now you can make sure you kick yourself out far enough for the eight. Oh, he oh, ran into the one. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, he's. It looks like he's good. No, he just nope. He's, no, he's shaking, shaking his, his head. head. Really? I'm telling really you, the that's the problem when you wow, run. That's if looks you like run it. into the one, you got to make sure you're coming out far enough because that one's gonna cop, come out a little bit. So yeah. he's gonna have to spin this. Oh, when he fouled. Oh, no. Well, here's a genuine opportunity. Oof. The only thing I don't like about this rack is that five ball. Yeah. That five ball's in a bad spot. Play it right now. Yep. Play, the play four it right two now. And be done. Yeah. Just make sure you punch out a little bit for the four. Yeah, and the five is off the rail a little bit, so that's why he put the... Where are you Whoa, going? Oh, you didn't want to go that far. This could be touchy. See, that's saying you got it. Maybe think about your shots a little bit more before you jump down and shoot them there. Oh, absolutely. This could be touchy because he's going to be right in the middle. There is the 50 yard line. Yeah, have to think real. about that. Speed is so important on those shots because you had to come back. You weren't holding it for the two in the opposite. So just hit it hard enough to come back yep. across table. Yep. <clears throat> So, yeah, unfortunately, he is at the 50-yard line here. I would almost literally just hit the right side of that two and put the cue ball on the rail. Yep. Leave him a 50-yard shot with a side, side, side pocket. pocket. Yep. That's about all you have. I mean, unless you want to sell the farm, that's really the only thing you have at this point. Yep. If you try to get that two ball out to, to kick it in front of it, the problem is your cue ball will go out too far. Oh, wow, he did a great job. I think Mike can cut it, but he's got to be real careful to scratch. Yeah, that was very well played. Yeah, that's a he called safety almost. I think he. I, so he's going to hit the right side, just miss the eight in the side, and put the cue ball down the other end of the table. Which I like that shot. Why try to play hero at this point? Yep. Just like that, and, and they did he get a away. safe? Wow, wow, that was a great shot by Mike. 
Yeah, that worked out really well. That was very well played. Uh, just get a hit. Just hit it. Oh, a new. No. That's going to give Mike ball in hand with the eight ball, and this is going to bring him to within one, one game. game. Barring no. There it is. <laughs> right, let's take I a just missed the, the eight in the line. side and pretty, put the cue ball uh, down to the yeah, other end of the table, which really I like well. that yep. shot. Yeah, Why absolutely. try to play hero at this point? Come yep. Come on. Oh. Ah. Oh, he ran out of time. It's, on uh, yeah, I got to increase the, do the 10 second thing and I got to wait a little bit longer. Oh. Usually I do the five second thing, but. Is that all it takes you? Five seconds? Well, it's, uh, <laughs> for some things. For some things? For some things, yeah. And I just missed the eight in the side and put the cue ball down to the other Scott end of the table, which I like that oh, shot. Why I try to play hero at this point? Yeah, about Ann. All right, we're gonna play that. Oh, oh, oh our favorite bunny rabbit is in the house. Oh, hocus pocus! <laughs> hocus pocus is in the house. Here's that safe like by that. Mike again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get get a a safe. Wow. <laughs> Deliberate or wow. not. You know, was that was a great <laughs> shot by Mike. Very well played. <laughs> yeah, that is Jack Wagon, Mr. Hocus Pocus. <laughs> and I love your picture. He did that just for you. I know. I, 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 you know, it brings a tear to my eye every, every, I time, I, it does. every time I see that. <laughs> 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 All right. Good, good break by Mike. Unfortunately, the cue ball went in a bad, bad spot. Yeah. By the combination. 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 By the That's all he really has at this point, that's yeah. for sure. I even play that combination with a little bit of speed, so you come out on the 13. Is it the 13 or is that the 12 to the side there? 12 on the side. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> oh, he's wait, eight. wait, what? 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 He's playing a combination? What? Or? Five off the four, maybe? Well, I'm not quite sure of this one, but... Different strokes wow. for different folks. And he drills it. He drilled that. How the you water. doing? How you doing, Hocus Pocus? Haven't seen you for a while. Tell you what, I, I like that aggressive shot by Mike. That was definitely an aggressive shot. It's yeah. not one that you really want to take <laughs> for your opening shot all the time let's Fun. take a look at that shot again different strokes wow. for different folks. Yep. and he drills it well, sometimes he maybe he's just trying to build a little momentum you know because he's kind of got a two or three game winning streak here and if he can keep the pressure and aggressively maybe he'll get there yeah i agree bill says oh wait, where'd it go can you read the rabbit's chest the what? Rabbit's chest? I don't get it. Oh, maybe on his picture? Oh, no. I don't know if I can zoom in on it. Does it say Kugel on it? <laughs> yeah, what does it say on there? Yeah, what's I'm, I'm say? assuming you're talking about the picture of your rabbit and yeah. the, uh, riding on the chest. Yeah, I can't see it. it it's, it's so doggone small. It can't be much more than a five-eighths of an inch by five-eighths of an inch. Or maybe... Oh, no, he can't even see the twelve ball that's on the table facing him. Yeah, no, I think, ten feet away. I think it's like twenty three thirty seconds by twenty three thirty <laughs> seconds is the <laughs> size of that rabbit. <laughs> it's small, Bill. He's telling you you're small. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bill, I'm doing real good. Thank you for asking. Uh, Sapka says dentist time. Dentist time. Uh oh, that doesn't sound good. Oh, you're talking about for the rabbit? Oh, maybe, yeah. yeah. Travis King says, wow. Wow what? Wow, just wow. He was probably talking one of the shots from earlier. You probably missed it before. Where's downtown Willie Brown today? I have no idea. Oh. Poor guy, I miss him. I probably see him on Saturday because you're playing with Brown, aren't you, on Saturday? Yeah, him and Mark Sobiak. Uh, <coughs> yeah. um, Sorry to hear that. He's Mark and uh, Jeff. He's probably in bed already. I'm thinking he's not working back to work, is he? Doesn't matter. <laughs> Doesn't matter. No. Well, bed. Yeah, absolutely. It's eight oh five already. <laughs> <laughs> 
Holy shit, it's way past my bedtime, folks. I turned on a new movie last night, and, and, I, and this is about 7.15, and that was... You were out by 7.16? Oh, pretty pretty close. I remember the opening scene, and that was about it. Did the opening scene have any KY jelly in it, or...? <laughs> yeah, no. It's just to cover me up when you're done. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, he had that. Oh, I just stay focused. Wow, I didn't stay think stay he focused. had that. Yeah. He didn't have. I didn't think he had that shot, but he did. And yeah, if he would have, yeah, I don't know. He wouldn't really. Well, he had the twelve and then the ten, but to get on that fifteen or eleven, that's yeah, he had a really a little, uh, yeah, little glim. He pounds it to uh -oh. the hole. Uh oh. Pushed it right back in where he didn't yeah, want it. Yeah, that's a bad spot. Unfortunately, he did not want that seven ball to go back. Almost, almost exactly where it was before. Yeah. What's he doing? Is he back, cutting it? Back cutting the back two cut, ball. Why, you're going to run into the ten ball. Why yeah. do that? Because he could probably do something like that. Do what? Yeah. No. Boink, yeah, boink, no. boink, boink, boink. Yeah. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Now, I knew that that ten ball was going to affect his the path of the cue ball so i just i didn't quite understand where he was trying to get with that but just uh sometimes just sending that cue ball loose a little bit too much yeah <clears throat> it's like the tootsie roll i'll say <laughs> the world may never know right oh 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 oh, oh, oh. Yeah. well unfortunately it's not really hurting him no it didn't really hurt him much all right, so you push the 14 down by the pile of junk down there and stick them up on the 12. Yeah, maybe have it, maybe run it right into the 8 to clear the 8 out of there. Yep, yep. Get it down there. <clears throat> Just get a ball down there so you have something to break the cluster out. And actually, I'd be right where the 8 ball is or a little further down would be perfect because then if you get ball in hand... Then you can run into the 6 and the 15 because that 6 will kick the 11 down by the pocket. Yep, and and kick the even, po even pocket, yeah, the, even 15 pocket the 15, but it'll then kick that 15 out of there. Yep. Yeah, so I wouldn't even shoot, shoot nah, these I would balls. not shoot these. I would not shoot these balls yeah, in at all. I, nope. I really like pushing that 14 down and sticking so what, the So he's playing a safe, making the 10 ball. I, yeah, I don't like yep. that shot. Yeah. <coughs> Got to get some helpers down there. Yeah, because let's just say Mike makes, let's just say he makes one of his balls right now. I mean, what's what's stopping him from there? But if Brian were to get ball in hand here, there's nothing down there to help him out. And see, now this is what Mike was able to do. Now he made his ball, got his ball out of the way. Completely out of the way and puts him in jail. Yeah, and puts that 15 ball where it's not going to go anywhere unless he gets down below the eight. So it looks like Brian has called a safe. That would have worked out nice if he would have gotten that 14 ball down yeah. there. Now that's Ironically, it was on a 14 ball underneath the 12 ball, yeah, right? Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's the shot you were talking about before that he should have played in the beginning that yeah, would have brought that 14 all the ball down there. Yeah. I might go and be going a little loopy because I think uh, these earphones are going in and out of my left ear. Or maybe I'm having a stroke or something too. But they're going in and out of your left ear? Is, are oh, they like plugged in all the way? Yeah. Make sure they're plugged. Yeah. 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 Hmm. That's weird. Uh, well, that's a good hit by yeah, Mike. Got a good yeah. hit, yeah. Still has that pocket covered. Yeah. Still no, no sense to make nothing here. Yeah, I mean, I see an aggressive route where you could make the 14, get over on the 12, and you could take the 12 down or take the 12 and then the 4, but I don't see you getting a good... I, the 12 could have gotten you down into that area down there. I mean, it's a low percentage shot, but if you're going for it, you might as well go for it. I love this shot right here. Yeah, he did now a good puts, job. Now he's back in the driver's seat. Yep. Completely back in the driver's seat. It's be tough with this cue ball in the way here. I don't know if he's going to be able to squish the cue ball to 
not make it go downhill. All right, so he was asking if you wanted to have it watched, and Brian said, no, nah, I think I think you're good. But I tell you what, that's close enough that... Uh, Oh, just clear it out of the way. Yep, and now that's going to leave Brian a uh, pretty up, textbook. Just hold this, hold this for. Yeah, try not to get a two seat angle. Yeah. squish the cue ball a little bit. Oh, oh come on, Brian! Wow, that was a one stroke and shoot again. Did you see that? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. He's got to stay focused. Those he are got down one stroke and then just shot the shot. Yeah. Um. Should be pretty easy to control the one ball here. It's going towards the short rail. Yeah, but he's got to be careful. He just don't. There you go. He wants to draw back on this a little bit. Not see that's. Yep. You didn't want it. You don't. That's why you don't want to go forward on that. Just a little. Just draw it and just hit it. Just pocket speed. Yeah, it's a pinch draw. Yep. yep. Changing hands. Yep. Don't do nothing with it yet. Just get safe off that 14. Yeah, hit the 14. Hit the left side of the 14. Bring the cue ball all the way back up to the side of the table. Yep. Get the 14 ball over. Um, I see. You don't you, you get, you even give up a bank, you know. Like, that's, yeah. It's, it's off the rail, so it banks. Yep. He's got to put some spin on this, but um, I would have not left. Oh. So he's not even going for the bank. <clears throat> Do you think he could possibly make that? Yeah, that might be tough because it's going to double kiss that the 15 yeah, ball. And yeah, yeah. Probably not going to make it, so. Oh, just hit a little too hard. I like a stop process, but yeah, a good angle on it. Just hit a little bit too hard. I think he was trying to run directly into it because it was off the rail. Sure. Yeah, he hit it. Fat in the face, yeah. Yep. All right, I even play the shot, but play two rails underneath there and play you over by the 14. Right. Yeah. Don't give nothing up. Get going, get going. Yeah, and he made it. So that was the shot. Got perfect shape uh, on the 14. Why did he just go? Put all his energy, pocket this ball. Put all yeah. his energy into it. <coughs> See, see what he's, he's looking yeah, at? Yeah, he's looking defensively. He's looking defensively. He's looking at, okay, where do I leave this cue ball in case I miss this shot? Yep. So you, you're. so now he's putting draw on it. Now, how much? Five bucks he misses his shot. Makes it harder to make. See? Because you're thinking defensively. Yep. Just pocket. Just make the ball. Make the ball. Or as I was I was up at the WPBA and we were listening to some of the streaming, just pot the ball. Pot the ball. Pot the ball. And you know what they say for draw? Screw. Screw, yep. Screw the ball back. I only lived in England for eight months, so yeah. I had to remember that for a second. Yeah, that's yeah. right, yeah. That's right, I should have given you a, a, a quiz. A quiz, yeah. <laughs> yeah. See if you remembered anything from <laughs> <Yeah>. back then. <laughs> <clears throat> what do you call a uh, um, a skid? Squirt. A kick. They call it a kick. They call it a kick. Yeah, we get a Where is he going with this? What are you doing? What is he doing? He's trying to measure his English, I'm thinking. No real. Right, so he tried to use a lot of inside English and come off. Huh. All right. Well, I mean, it, he almost hit it. So yeah. I, I give yeah. him props for that. But yeah. I don't know. I, I would have probably just tried to take the one rail kick. It would have been yeah. a little easier just to at least get a hit on the ball. Right. Yeah. Right. Exactly. All, All right. right. So Seven that's going to put five. Yep. Brian up by two games again here. I'll right. tell you what. Mike made a strong comeback there. Cause yeah. He sure did. What was it? Seven four, right? Was it seven, seven or uh, seven three? Oh uh, no, it was six six to two. Six two. Six two. Six two. It was six two. Oh yeah, sorry, yeah, six two. So, uh, so he came back with uh three games and which made it six to five. I tell you what, if he keeps going three to one, three games to Brian was one and uh it's a, it's a, it's he'll a take it. It's a different gig, yeah. 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 So how do you spell Brian's town? Tikachia. 
How do you spell it? It's right there on the... Well, not spell I mean, it. How do you say it? Say it. Tachita? 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 I don't know if the C-H is a ch, like cheddar, like <laughs> like little shit. Oh, we don't, want to we don't want to think about cheddar. No, we don't want to. Oh, punk. Tachetter or Tachetter? Or one of the two. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got my eye on you, Jenny, <clears throat> if you're listening. Well, he actually sent me a message that he's coming down Friday for the uh, the Blake Waldo and uh, Kyle Gebel match. Ooh, boy. Yeah. That's a pretty good match. Uh, yeah. Well, Kyle pulls it off. Well, there's a, there's quite a few people that are betting on Blake, but I don't know. Kyle's been playing some strong pool. Yeah. It's a good shot by Mike to tickle that ball. Yeah, yeah it was. I think he would he would, he would have liked to hit that just a little harder though to get back out. But yeah, yeah. I, th I think it's good enough where if he can make this next shot, he should be in pretty good shape. Yeah. Yeah, I think I back cut the 12 ball. Yeah, that's what I was looking at, too. You just got to be careful. That side pocket. Yeah, side yeah, pocket. I think you're going just above the side pocket, maybe even to the half a diamond above the side pocket. Uh, let's look at it from this angle here. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Ooh, that's going to be cool. He might be coming below the side pocket. You think so? Uh, gosh, I don't know. That's tough, man. It might be. It might just be above this, just above the side pocket, because he's got it. But the, see, look at his cue, though. The way he's, yep, just above it. See, told you. But did you see the way his cue? Yeah. Even though he was, it's what? so far. It's almost like he's putting a little draw on it, because you're so yeah. you're you're you got that cue so high in the back. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. I wonder, if he's, I wonder if he's got a rubber band for a joint in there on his finger. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Why? Pocus Pocus said something. <clears throat> gotta mom. go gotta go playing league in Madison. All right. Gotta go. You're, you're, you're good English. All right, Bill. Thanks for tuning in. We'll yes, thank you. talk to you later, buddy. Sorry, sorry you had to listen to us. All right. This mediocre commentary. That was a good shot by Mike. Now, mm -hmm. he's got to be careful, though. This, this is a key shot right here. Yep. You either come back out far enough to for the side again. Let's see, he needed... I, the problem is now you're going away from the eight ball. Yeah. Yep. You almost want to come back out with a lot of... You overcut that ball with a lot of inside English, so you come back right towards that side pocket, so you have the right angle. Careful of the scratch. He just kind of laid nice. up to get what he can get. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Just take what, you, take what you got there and... Yep. Make the shot. There's a lot of people in the house tonight. Yes, there is. Oh, I'm sorry. I missed a comment from uh, four comments ago. Earl Ross says hello to everybody. Hey, Earl. Thanks for tuning in. <clears throat> I apologize. I have uh, oh, Scott oh, Kugel oh. on it. He's fine. It's going to stop. Told you. Oh. I got Scott Kugel on the helm for the comments, so if he misses a comment, you can blame him. His name is Scott Kugel. His phone number is 262. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ouch. <laughs> We're going to share his phone number so you can call him up and, and just lay into him, please. My phone's going to light up tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was right. eight minutes ago. <clears throat> I, I got I to gotta have a little leeway here. <laughs> right. All right. What the? Uh, wait a minute. That was Mike won that one, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Seven to six. Back within one game, folks. Race to nine. Alternate break format. So Mike is breaking this one here. Want to once again thank you all for tuning in here to Outer Point Streaming. We are at Hollenbeck's Q Club in Sussex Bowl in Sussex, Wisconsin. If you have not hit that subscribe button, button, please do that for us. We certainly appreciate it. <clears throat> Trying to get to our thousand subscriber milestone. And at that point, then we can start doing some really, really great things for this stream. Not that we're not trying to do it now, but it'll actually uh, bring us to that next uh, uh, milestone where we can start monetizing the stream and accept some, uh, some donations as well as get money from people watching some of the commercials. So please, if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button for us. We'd certainly appreciate it. Also, hit that like button because the more likes we get, the higher up on the food chain we get. Or we are when we get to that milestone. So thank Sweet. you all again. Well, Mr. Harding, Mr. Velcro himself calls me a rookie. 
Ah, yeah. That's that's about <laughs> right. What's up, Ian? Rookie Kugel, huh? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Well, that's all right. I, I'm at peace with myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got pieces of yourself. Right? Yeah, I got pieces of myself. I got pieces. <laughs> Doggone it! I I still have a whole bunch of replays from that. I, I actually downloaded some of them, but I gotta erase because we're, we're at the full. We just topped out at our because I haven't downloaded and deleted all the uh, the oh, replays oh, from the prior replay, ones. So, re- replays, yeah. okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to stick around a little bit afterwards here and get all these replays downloaded and get them to YouTube so I can wipe them out so I have some free space because I download or I put in I installed a new two terabyte hard drive so we had plenty enough room but now I got to that point where I'm thinking ah we got plenty of space because I installed a new t- two terabyte hard drive <laughs> <laughs> probably sucked up pretty quick huh? well for three I think three or four matches yeah it oh jeez yeah well you know holy smokes yep Oh, well, Ian says hello back. So, uh, hello, Ian. What up? All right. So, Brian is, he's got solids here. He's got to get a good angle. Got the wrong angle on the five. He's outside angle slightly. Is he? Yep. I suppose you're seeing right down it. Yeah. Um, but Put a lot of top on this. Miss the eight. Come down for the two ball, maybe. Because yep. then the yep. six ball, well, the, the seven. Oh, oh, he's oh got the seven. okay. He's got the seven. Actually, that's not a bad shot because he could slide into the six ball. Yep. We can develop that six. Yep, he's drawing on it. Just make the sh- Oh, that was... Oh, unfortunately, it put it right back into a bad spot. Well, this is where you got to just take the accept and just lay, up the the six bank, ball. lay up on the bank shot yep. on the six. Yeah. Take the six, lay up for the bank on the six, and uh, take your medicine. McCain Peters says, winner of this game wins the match. Uh, yeah, I bet you're probably right, McCain. Could, hey, McCain, you want to play some nine ball? Yeah, McCain, I'll play you some nine ball or ten ball, too. Yeah. And Earl Ross says, hello, everybody, back again. Earl, where are you tuning in from? Appreciate you tuning in. <clears throat> McCain, Peters, we don't care where you're tuning in from. <laughs> I believe it's oh, we already know. Houstisford, if yeah. I'm not mistaken. I think it is. And oh. that was the oh. shot. There we go. Yeah, I just he's got to, to hit this really hard. Shorten it up. Hit it hard. Shorten it up. It'll go right in because then you can draw it straight back for the. There you, oh, oh, off the thirteen ball. That's where you say any that, questions, yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Any questions there, folks? So that's just the way I played it. All right. Well, that was a dish. We had our first yeah. dish of the night. Oh, yeah. Actually, wow. He, he dished it out. He dished it out. Uh, Craig, was, Craig Bear says, uh, great job on the channel, guys. And Brian, thanks again for helping with the sponsor tournament. Hey, Craig. Yeah, so. What's going on, man? Yeah, Craig, McCain. Craig, we'll, we'll Craig play. won the, uh, won, won the B, B division. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, uh, the the Waukesha, Waukesha. Uh, spa, yep. the league sponsor turn. Okay, cool. Yep, he's a fellow golfer too. Very good golfer. Nice, nice. Yeah, McCain wants to play a ring game with you and me, Brian. All right, deal. All right, it's gonna be two on the five and four on the nine. No, let's do five and ten. Okay, all right. I make it nice, easy, crisp. You know, then we don't need singles like we've been to a strip club. We just take bring <laughs> fives and tens and twenties. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ah, we can do one and two or two and four. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's do it. Now we can play some three ball, too. Oh, 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 just oh, lost man. the cue ball on the side. All right, so Mike has up. Oh, man. Oh, ties up the five if ball. that five ball wouldn't have got tied up, this would have been a pretty easy roundable table here for Mike. Yep. I think it still could be. He's got ball in hand, so he could actually get that ball out right now. Yep, I play the 9, I wiggle the 12, and then get shaped to the 13, and then go from there. You must be listening to to us on those uh, earbuds. Oh, yeah, yeah I forgot about it. <coughs> Maybe he does. <laughs> yeah. Shit. <laughs> yeah, but it's delayed, so he put the ball down way oh, before. Uh, gotcha. Nice and smooth, not hard, <coughs> just nice and smooth. Not nah, hard, he, not said, he said, forget it, man. I'm I'm rocking this ball. Screw that smooth shit, he said. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, Who in the hell does smooth? Smooth. 
Smooth. Yeah, what is smooth? Hmm. Vel you know, Vel Velcro is chiming in here too. He says a big table or a small, a uh, little table and or a small table in a ring game. Whatever, whatever. Whatever, Velcro man. Yeah, he probably wants big table. That's fine. We'll do big table. How did he weasel his way? Into I that? don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta pick him up by his ankles again and throw him oh, against the ceiling. Right. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna swing, swing you up there again. <laughs> All right. So Mike got that, got that ball out of there. Was eleven ball out of there? Real yeah. nice. <clears throat> if he can get good shape on a twelve ball as an open. Does that twelve ball? Do you think that twelve ball goes? Yep, I think so. Let's look at it from a different angle. Yeah, it does look like it does go. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Uh, so. It'd be nice if he got an outside angle. It'd probably be a little easier to make it. Yep, exactly. I think you got to get shaped to the 14 drawback for the 10 on the side. <coughs> How about just like that? Yeah, a little. He got a little angle, but yeah, he could he could pinch draw this one and co play that 12. 10 no, he could. Or 10 in the corner too. He yeah. could actually right now. If he wanted to come backside of that 12, he's got the perfect angle to come backside of the 12. Yeah. He's coming across the line, but he's playing to two shots, too. He can recover back on the 10 ball, too, as well. Yeah. <coughs> yep. He could actually draw, come straight over towards the 10 ball. If he runs into the 10, then he'd have the actual, he'd actually have the 12 as well. But hey, there are several different ways to play this shot. It just depends on how comfortable you feel with it. Yeah, being stretched over the table. And, and, and Mike's yeah. a tall dude, you know. He's He's... he's yeah, but here's the thing. you got to put a good stroke on this. When you're stretching, you have to. Uh, yeah. Well, actually, that 10 ball goes up past to the, the six. Corner, yeah, to the corner. Yeah. He's just got to be careful of, I think he's going to clip the three. Yeah, he just doesn't want to fade too. Yeah, so you're not, gonna, you're not hitting there, buddy. As much as you'd like to believe you are. I don't know if, I think you're running right into the three ball. Yeah. <clears throat> I could be wrong. Angles always look different on the on the overhead here, but yeah. even just looking at the angle out through the window here, it looks like he's going to run into that three ball. So he's just got to be careful not to get on the back side of that three. He's got to hit it hard enough so that it, if he does run into the three, it does come off the three and comes out just a little yeah. bit. Yeah, see, he yeah, overcut, overcut it. it to get to that spot. Yeah. So actually, if he would have cut it correctly, yeah, he wouldn't hit the three at all. So it was not the angle I was thinking because if he, if he would have hit more of that ten ball, he would have actually just missed the side pocket that like he was looking at. Yeah. So are you feeling okay? What you just admitted you're wrong. No, I admitted that the angle didn't look like. Oh, gotcha. I thought it looked like on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Just want to make check you see if you got a fever or something. I do have a fever. I wasn't <laughs> feeling good today, so something's up with me. <laughs> All right, let's just stay focused here, Ryan. There's available for you. Just. Hit him to the hole. No, 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 no. Well, yeah. he got away with it, but that wouldn't have been my choice. He yeah. could have held that for the two. <laughs> yep. Taking the two and then come over for the six. Yeah, I agree. That was a very, very risky. Shoot. He got away with it, but that was very risky. So I go to the, I go six, four, three, two, five. I don't know if that four, does that four go? Boy, it looks awful close if it, if it doesn't. I don't think that goes. No, no. Kinda, see, that's why you're looking at it, even on the camera, though. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. it doesn't look like it goes, but then it, it will go. Yeah, I think I think uh, you can even play, even even if you happen to miss it. I wonder if you may not even give up anything. I'd take, yeah, but here's the thing. If you take the three ball, take the three ball, you actually come out real good on the five that you could actually get. It's back cutting the two, or is no, it just playing it safe? Not too bad. Of a Still no, not bad at a, all. A, I think he may see the edge of the 10 yet. But oh, yeah, he can well, He can see the 10 full. Yeah. I don't, he can't make it. Oh, he can't get to the edge there. No, I don't. I don't think so. Just looking at it from this angle here. Oh, we know. We yeah. know. Yeah. Like a lot of no. Yeah, a lot of no. So I would. I would just hit the right side of the ten. Just put it down by the pocket. Try to rest right up against the two, but then block the pocket for that three ball. You know yeah, what I mean? Correct. Just make sure that pocket is not given away. 
Just like that. Perfect. Yep. It's perfect. It's prefect. He would have liked to put him right up against that two ball. Because now, as you see, this yeah. is the shot that he had. Yeah, he's got a... <clears throat> but Mike could just roll into this 10. Yep. Real yes. slow. Just put him right up against the 10 and just make sure the cue ball hits the rail. Just unbelievably slow. Mm. Too hard. Way too hard. But still didn't give up the pocket yet, though. Yep. <laughs> but now this is going to give Brian a pretty much a, pre uh, a free swing at this four right. ball. Yeah. And Brian's on the hill, <clears throat> by the way. Yes, he is. I just noticed that. I'm like, holy smokes. So... If Brian goes to okay, so he just said yeah. play a save. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh that's oh, you didn't want to do that. I'm sorry. Yeah, and I think he can see the ten. Yes, he can see the ten, and the twelve ball goes, goes easily. Moves. And he messed his balls completely. That's the one shot you did not want to do. <laughs> yeah, did not want to do that one. That was uh, so. Mike has got a bear down here. Make the shot. Come back across because you're not going to hold it. Just yep. come across. Just don't put too much top on this because then you need to go towards that pocket, that corner pocket. Like that. Like that. And it makes it this it makes hard. it tougher. So much harder. Center ball, stroke it into the hole, and just come back across the table. Yep. Just give yourself a little bit better angle on Now, it, this can still be made. Yep. And he doesn't have to do anything. He's going to be stopping on the floor. Right. Ball, but. <clears throat> but here's the thing. If he misses this, now he's breaking all his balls up. Yep. And I'm not saying play defensively, but just make it a little easier on yourself because you know your your opponent's on the hill. See, this is what I'm talking about. You know your opponent's on the hill. That shot becomes a lot tougher yep. because you know you have to make this shot. What? Uh, don't be the tubo. Don't play the tubo. No, I wouldn't. Three ball. Three, four, two, five, or yep. however you want to do it. But I mean, I don't know if he can hold it for the four, but yeah, three ball, or two ball, and then four, and then five. There you go. <clears throat> now, I take the two, roll forward a little, roll forward just a little bit. Keep yourself an outside angle on the yep. four, so you can. Or not. Or do that. Well, he still has an outside angle. Yeah, he's just got to punch it a little bit. Right. Yeah, he's got to punch it out so that he's away from the rail because he's going to be running into the 12 ball if he doesn't get out far enough like that. So now he's going to run into the 12 ball. You just got to hope and pray that you don't push that 12 ball somewhere or you come out pretty good on and Get it good on the eight. And that's the problem. Oh, uh, he's pinking. Oh, no, he's, no, it looks like he's going for it. Oh, it really might go. Does, does he get a half a pocket over there? He's got half a pocket, I think. Oh, and if he doesn't, he's tying up the hole. Right. It's probably a smart shot. All right, folks. Well, this could be it. And if it is, we want to thank you again for tuning in here tonight. And that is it, folks. Is it. Made it. Wow. That was a good shot. That Brian. was a very, very Brian. well played. Heck so. of a shot. Again, thank you all for tuning in here tonight for this kind of last minute, last minute stream here. Hold but, down. Um, yeah. It was, uh, it was great having you all here tonight, and uh, make sure you are tuned in for Friday because we've got a great match uh, coming up for you. It's going to be Blake Waldo and Kyle Gebel going at it. They are playing for 1000 Monopoly dollars in the middle, a race to 9 or 11? Okay. 11, I all think. Right. Cool. 11. Well, it'll be a fun so match for sure. That will be fun, so make sure you got your little notification uh, bell hit, and as soon as we go live, it'll notify you, and just come right to our channel. Don't have to search for us. So, again, if you're not a subscriber, please hit that little subscribe button for us. We certainly appreciate it, and we will see you all on Friday. Once again, this is Brian. Hallelujah. Holland back in the booth with me tonight was Jack Wagon, Scott Jack Wagon Kugel. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Scott, for stepping on in and helping out tonight. So, oh, More than welcome. It's fun. Alrighty, folks, we will see you on Friday. All right, Have a take great care. night. Peace out.